My name is TJ Gamble and this is Bruzel. But what does it actually take to get one of these in the state of Alabama? It's all told we spent about 400 bucks, but this is what we got. That's a good whiskey. There's a lot going on there. All right, we are back on another Monday evening. Hopefully y'all had a good weekend. This was our last weekend without good college football. I mean, there was some football, but like, come on. Let's, we, we can't count any of those games. But we're looking forward to it this week. Hopefully we can get the week kicked off and started right for y'all. Um, what's new, Jill? What have we been up to? What, what has happened since the last live stream? Um, we started on more work on the house. We did do more work on the house. And, and I thought, I was trying to set her up. Mike, The quiet. new Whoa. Proof Queen Glen Cairns right here, which you can't see until I get some actual um, whiskey in it. But we did get the Proof Queen Glen Cairns in. We're going to drink out of, I haven't drank out of a Proof Queen yet. I haven't either. First, first time. So these are available at Bruzel.com. Uh, we did the 13th Colonies pick. We did. That's new. I got a shirt. Is that your 13th Colonies? It's really faint. You might not be able to see it. Yeah. It does say 13th Colonies on there. Um, pour that LA1 down the drain. We're going to find out here in just a second. Um, for this stream, we are trying all of the bottles that I bought in Louisiana. So I was going through Shreveport, headed to Austin, and I picked up a few bottles. Really wasn't expecting a whole lot from Shreveport. Just looking around at the liquor stores, Weren't a ton of options, and, and it, it kind of held true. We did find a few gems here, though. I think at least one bottle, but the still Austin's good. So at least a couple of bottles here are really good. We'll find out about ones that we haven't opened yet. Is that all you got from I only bought five. Are you surprised? I only yeah. bought five at Shreveport. I'm that very is surprised. Like a record. Um, we, <laughs> I'm very, very surprised. <laughs> you, know, you know it's gotten out of hand when you buy five bottles of whiskey in one hunting trip and your wife's like, that's all you bought? That's all you got? Because we, like y'all don't, y'all don't realize, we've got nine or ten bourbon hunting videos we filmed on our road trip and I have boxes and boxes and boxes of whiskey that I haven't opened yet to where I'm just waiting for those videos to come out so that then we can try them on the stream. And it's bad, because I, like I was moving one of the boxes today, and I'm looking, I was like, why did I buy that? Yeah, why did you? We had to almost give up a kid to get it all home. It would have been worth it. We'd have to flip it. Why thing. is that so, like, close up? Why is which one? That's not the, the one, one people are seeing. Okay, Jill. well, I'm seeing that's, it. That's not the, this it's is the one people are, this is, Lord. It's messing with uh, me. Really? Yeah. Okay, is that better? Yeah, now, that's better. Both now I see both of them. That's way better. <sighs> Just saw the Hello, super Seth. zoomed in view there for a second. You thought <laughs> I was messing up. Y'all pump those likes for us if you would. Um, if you like it, if you don't like it, then don't don't pump the likes. That's only fair. Steve ordered his Proof Queen Glen yesterday. Nice. We did sell. So we, we ordered 72 of them. I had to order more of the other two Glen Cairns that are selling the most because we went through those in a heartbeat. Um, we've sold about a dozen of these the first day, so I'll... We ordered 72, so there's only 72, and we'll, we'll, we'll make more, so we're not going to run out. Jared with the 1999 Super Check can't stick around as we got to finish getting sandbags ready for the storm. What storm? We'll probably do nothing here in Tampa. Oh, um, Tampa. The, yeah, the, oh, the wow. hurricane that's coming up through Florida. Man, I, I, hope, I hope you get all the yes, sandbags be done, safe. and I hope you need none of them. That would be the best possible outcome. I have not watched the news at all this week. I had no clue there was a storm. <laughs> all right, so I'm, I'm getting some reports there that our audio is really quiet. Is it really quiet for everybody else? Because I can pump it up. I can make it louder. Like we could, we got some, we got some room to bump it up. But is it, is it just this one person here? Um, Zwa hello, hello. Zwalinik. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to try some of these. Audio is fine. Awesome. Appreciate Whoa, it. Thank going you. Fast. Yeah, it, it's you know. Sometimes, oh, it, sometimes it gets quick. We'll try to keep up I'm with the chat. I'm sorry, y'all. That just went really quickly. <laughs> we missed a ton of them. Uh, Jonathan Huntley with the two dollar super chat. Bruzel Hurricane Relief Fund for Florida. Might have to do that. We, we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully That's, not. Uh, like, like, well, I hope we don't. I hope everything's just fine. And it turns into just a uh, a tropical storm, and everybody gets a little too much rain. Is it a real bad one? Yeah, I, it's a hurricane. I know. So that's that. You know, if it hits wrong, doesn't have to be a super bad one. Right. Sipping a nice Walcott bottled in bond. Nice. Um, I got a Walcott the other day um, from somewhere. I don't. I don't. Th I think it's on one of the bourbon hunts. So I don't think I've opened it yet. So 
Um, we should right. be getting some volumes are low and bump it up. So I don't know. We're getting mixed reviews here. Well, I'm getting very mixed reviews. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to bump it up. I'm going to go over there and I'm going to bump it up one notch, which is like with these microphones, there's only one notch. Yeah. Um, there's, you and know, I there's moved three mine notches. up closer tonight too. And I don't want if I turn it up too loud though, you hear a bunch of background noise. But we're gonna we're gonna bump it. We're gonna y'all ask for it, and y'all tell me if it's too much. Be prepared for your eardrums to be hurting. Okay. Seth said it's fine, but it can't hurt to bump it up a bit. Okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna go. We're gonna go to the third notch here, Jill. Oh third wow. Notch has Kyle been says a, it's supposed to be a Cat Three by Wednesday, and he's in Ocala. So now we're peaking at Louisville. Wow. I was peaking. So. Might be too loud. Might might be. Did we go too far? <laughs> Jill is good. You were low. Oh, what? Uh, well, so I, dang it. All right. So I'm, I moved this down because my audio was so much events. more than Jill's. Time events. Um, yeah, I, I told. I gave him a warning, Eric. I gave him a warning. <laughs> if that's too loud, let me know. I'll go back down. Y'all, let me know before. I, too loud. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to go back down. Well, we're going to get it right at some point tonight. Well, if it was just mine. Hello, Uncle Nate. All right, we're back back to the level two. Level two. All right. Okay. We good now? So, hopefully, and uh, hopefully mine's, I'll just yell. How about that? All right. <laughs> so, I, we can't make everybody happy. We're just going to roll with it. Sorry. Sorry if, it, if it's not good for you. We're just going with it. We need some whiskey to drink. That's what we need. What do we want to start with? We want to start with my order of what I think is going to be worst to first. Let's do it. Is that how we should do it? it let's go with what I think is going to be the worst. And then we're going to work our way. And we're going to see if I'm right just based on guess. Some of these I've tried. Some of these I have not. Um, I think the worst one's going to be LA1. That's going to be my guess. LA1. Um, yeah. So this is a Louisiana last batch, Louisiana whiskey, small batch distilled it it was expensive i want to say this was like 70 dollars really um for what i guess is a very small barrel small distillery i'm going to zoom in here and let y'all see this bottle that is the la1 last batch did we get anything good i didn't even go to this weekend's drop um dudley appreciate the super chat there didn't even go to the drop this weekend just had too much going on so um, couldn't, couldn't make it out to it, unfortunately. Mm. You didn't even know it was happening, did you? I didn't. I'm sorry. I am, I am out of the loop. All right, this is going to soil our Proof Queen Glens. We're going to swap Glens. Bob Glass with the 499 Super Chat. Wished I could have made the BHBP. Ben Holiday oh. barrel pick. It took me a second too. <laughs> We've been on so many barrel picks, yeah. Bob. I wish you could. That I wish one was you could have, Bob. that was a fun. You missed out. You missed out, Bob, for sure. That one was awesome. The bottle design's nice, um, and and so I like some of the aromas that are going on there, but it is definitely small barrel. Like you get those oak tannins, yeah, that kind of dry raisiny aroma to it. Almost a yeah, oh. a very heavy cherry to me too, though, like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then it's like but then it is like. Go ahead. There's some weirdness on this on the nose. Weirdness is the right thing to say there. Um, uh, when you what taste it, it, it is very just like dry, licorice. dark. Licorice, it's licor. I don't like licorice. Yeah, I can see where you get that. Uh, but on the on the palate, it is the just black licorice. It is just cocoa. No, it's okay. That's fine. I was, just, I was trying to let you finish, brain, and then I'm you sorry. just kept going back with it. So Black licorice. Oh. Dying wish. Send me a bottle of Pappy or single malt. <sighs> sorry. Um, is that your dying wish? Because I don't have an extra bottle of Pappy, unfortunately, um, and I don't usually buy single malts. What do you think? Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sorry. Um, it is just cocoa mm. and barrel... Char oh, and yeah. Oh, gosh. You know what? No. What? I can't even say it. You, you want to get you say it? Is it a hard word? I don't want to hurt anybody. Is it a big word? Is it like a, is no, it a it's five a syllable hard. word? It just reminded me of something from my childhood. What's that? It's not good. Okay. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Jesse with the $5 super chat. Five seconds before disaster. Oh, goodness. Woody. Or Waddy oh, with the $2 super good. chat. Got two gingers today. My pub uses it. Cheap. Cheers. Cool, I'll have to check that out. 
Yeah, you were right. This is this is no bueno. This is no bueno. You're gonna have to rinse these or give me another Glen. I can't even drink on top of that. So so we're we're doing a new Bruzel score, which is just it's just a basic score. It's not some fancy Bruzel thing. But we're gonna rate things out of five stars, with one star being this was bad. Like there was something really bad about this. I do not like it. Two being okay, it's not good. I wouldn't buy another bottle, but you know, it's it's got a little bit of redeeming qualities, but still not good enough to buy another one. Three being, this is all right. Could be a little youthful, could, you know, could be fine. I, I would give it another try at some point in the future. Four being, this is really, really good, and I'd need more bottles of it if I come across it. I'll try to keep one on my shelf. Five being, some of the best stuff ever, try to buy backups of it, right? Does that seem fair to everybody? Uh, if that were the case, how would you rate this one? Two. You, so there are some redeeming qualities There's, about this? Uh, maybe. And you can for give it partial people, stars. Yeah, one and a half. Because it, it, it's not a solid two it's for me. It's not a solid two, but It's not like, this is awful. Like yeah, I'm not saying nobody would like this, but that is like one and a half stars yeah. right there at best. Yeah. Um, for but sure. But it's so like, the co like cocoa. Like, like you opened a jar of powdered cocoa and it like got in your mouth dry, yeah. the dry like before you mixed it with anything. Yes. Buh. Appreciate it, Brenda Sign with the four ninety nine super chat. Appreciate it. Thanks for the support. <laughs> um, I don't know. I haven't been bourbon hunting in Dallas yet. There, Montana. Uh, I'm going to try to in Infinity Barrel. Yeah. So we're. I'm going to try to get that barrel. I've got to hit them up and figure out what's the deal with my barrel. But we're going to try to get a barrel here. And every time we don't like one, yeah. like if it's a one or two stars, it goes in the barrel. Right. Yep. Uh, does price impact star ratings? You tell me, Steph. Should it? Because I don't think it should. Either it's good or it's bad. Right, no matter like, how much it costs. I'm, I'm judging the whiskey, not what it costs, right? Because the cost is different all over the place. You may have paid secondary. You may have paid MSRP. It's really hard to judge the price. So I don't think price or availability should play into it. Like maybe it has a value score that's a different thing, right? But um, as far as just like stars, I don't think it should. Should not be a part, yeah. Yeah, maybe there's a value, right? Like there's, the, but that's a whole different ranking. So next on the list, this is this is where it gets tough, because I think we've got four interesting bottles here. Oh really? Um, and you rinse this. I did. Oh, it still smells like it. Oh really? Grab me a fresh Glen. I, I'm not even gonna pour on top of that. Okay. Just any of them. It, I don't. Well, there's one more proof queen over there, but that's okay. I'll use the blue notes. Um. So I shouldn't use mine. That's up to you, babe. Depends on whether or not you like Ooh, the taste of good smell flavors. That. Mm. Depends on whether or not you want this next pour to be good or bad. I smell it. All right. Play a little bit, like a half star curve. Then it just gets complicated. And then I, next thing you know, I've got the old Bruzel score and I can't keep up with it. And I look like an idiot every time I score something. <laughs> All right. So this is Old Elk Cigar Cut. Um, I think this is going to be the next one, but I think this is, I think all the rest of them are going to be good bottles. Mm. Um, this one just being, like I like the, the um, what is it, the Magnus Cigar Blend, really good. I don't think this one's going to be as good as that one, though. There's nothing really off-putting about that. No. It's good, though, but it's, yeah, it's just nothing that's just like, oh, my God, that's great, right? Good whiskey. I could see how somebody would really like it. It's got a little bit of kind of a, it's like, it's oakiness, but it's a little bit of like a leathery kind of little bit of fruit there. I think these are finished, so I can I can pick up some of the finish. But it's um, it's way better than the LA one. Oh yeah. Yeah, way better than the LA one. I actually kind of like. This Garrett one. with the five dollar super chat right on time for the old elk, and I think the old elk is the second worst one we bought. Really? I still think it's good. So I, this is the only one I think is going to be a. A two star or below. It's not the Magnus, but also it's not the Magnus blend cost. I don't remember what I paid for this one, but um, this one is a blend of like a bunch of different. It's a port cask, a cognac cask, sherry cask, and our Monac cask uh, whiskeys. Dying wish with the two dollar super chat. How about a bourbon that you like? We're gonna get through some. I like. I've got one here that I know I like. Um, there's one. The the last one that we're gonna go over from this hall is 
a really good whiskey. Maybe one that's a little under the radar that most people don't know about. So we'll get to that one here in just a second. So give it a star rating here, Jill. Old Elk, cigar cut. What's a three? Three is, that's a good whiskey, but don't care to buy another bottle. Like, it's good, I liked it, but I don't three. care if I have another one. Three? I'd probably say, like, I'm, I'm going to nudge it a little above average and probably say like a 3.25 is what I would say on that. Good whiskey, I'll enjoy it, but I'm not, as soon as it's done, I'm not going to go out looking for another Old Elk Cigar Cut. But you, you like the... Um... The Magnus one, that's a that's over a four. That's uh. a... The one I have open is is a really really nice bottle. A little too expensive, yeah. <laughs> that wouldn't that wouldn't be a fair. That that'd just be like me you getting a box of match. <laughs> okay. You'd destroy me. I wouldn't even have a chance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you wouldn't have a chance. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, rinse out our glens here, unless you just want to dirty up a bunch of them. I don't really. You I want don't. a little water for yours. Short sure thing. All right, so the next one up the list, and this is where I don't know. I think I could be a little wrong here. I haven't tried this one. This one has not been opened. And this is the Old Scout Tony's Beverage, Tony's Discount Beverage, Old Scout Store Pick. Now, I've had some Old Scout Store Picks that are really, really good. I think they're in a different bottle than this, though. Did we get an Old Scout when we went to Branson? Don't. No, no, I don't no, know. No. Maybe we bought a lot of. We bought. A, don't ask me. Like if it was more than yesterday, I don't remember what I bought where. <laughs> I gotta wait till the video comes out so I know what I bought, where I bought it. Okay. Yeah. So this one was like Old Scouts. Like I said, I've, I've had one that was just. I think I've got one back there open somewhere that is just incredible. Let's cork pop. Not bad. Not bad. Just a little bit. I mean, you just keep pouring it out. It's okay. Right. I like old Scout. Like I said, I, I've had some. Is this what's the proof on this? This one is one hundred and sixteen point four proof. Now we're talking. And I swear, I've got an old Scout back here somewhere. Um, hmm. But my my stuff is so disorganized right now. I'm not sure where it would be. I would think it would be up there, but it might have got put in the back. Um, but I, I've got an old Scout. Oh, no, here it is, right here. This Old Scout pick is absolutely out of this world. I want you to tell me how that Old Scout versus this Old Now, I don't know the difference in the bottle. I don't know if they've changed something. This one was distilled in Indiana. They're both distilled in Indiana. So this guy is also 116 proof, five years old. And this one is 116 proof, five years old. So that's why I bought it. I was like, I love this one. That one had pretty similar specs. So... JL with the dollar ninety nine super chat new riff yay or nay? Um, I I bought I bought some new riffs. I think I have some store picks that we're going to be opening up soon um, on some of the some of the hunts. The little bit of new riff I've had, it's pretty good. I liked it, but I don't know which. Like I haven't had enough of it. What do you think, Jill? Um, I kind of like this one a little, like, definitely more than the other ones. You like this better than the old? So so far, I'm right. Yeah, so far. Okay. Aren't you always? Not always, just usually. But I'm glad you're starting to realize it. Yeah, this one smells really good. I'm getting more on, like, the nose of this one. Like, I think these old Scout picks are pretty... They're, if you like MGP, right? So a lot of folks have MGP, MGP whiskey. If you like MGP whiskey, these old Scout store picks have been really good. Now, I'm going to try it versus the one I've already got open and see if I like it that good. Jill, Jason wants to know what your favorite whiskey is. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Well, my favorite, favorite, favorite is William LaRue Weller. But, like, my, some of my other favorites right now is our Frey Ranch pick from Vegas. Yes, liquor line that one pick. particular pick. That one pick. And I love some Knob Creek. Knob Creek 9. Coy Hill, yes, I love Coy Hill. I love Knob Creek. Jimmy with the 999 Super Knob Chat. Knob. Cheers from Texas. Cheers back at you, Jimmy. I think that's about it. That's like my. Those are very similar. I still think I like this one just a little bit better, 
but those are very similar. What do you rank that one out of five? With three being, it's good, um, probably won't go buy another bottle. Four being, I've got to have that. I want to, I'll keep one of those on the bar at all times. Three point five. Okay. I don't really need it, but it's I, okay. I would go a little higher than that. I would go a little, but I think you're close. Three five, three seven five. Like this is a much. This is very above average. I like it. I'm not going to be upset if I don't mm -hmm. have it on the bar. Yeah. But if I come across them regularly and I haven't had one in a little while, I would buy one for sure. I will say there's a little twang on the finish that I'm not a fan of. That's what Devin's saying right there. Too much funk on this old scout. They do oh, have a little okay. funkiness. Yeah, there's a little something on the end there. That and that I think that's what I like about this one is it's a little less funky than uh, this guy here. I think that that is that is the main difference. Both are nice and and you know it, that MGP profile here. You want to yeah, let try. me try yours. Yes, uh, who, who asked me about the Knob Creek? Oh yeah, Dad, two three K M S. I do like the Knob Creek. Don't you having a stroke? <laughs> I was trying to say them all. Dad, two, three, KMS. It's like, hey, I'm going to have to reboot Jill. I have to power her off and power her back home. She's lagging over here. Well, I can't, I can't read all that. Brett, if you're trying to find the but Knob yes, Creek 12, I, I have 12. literally seen that everywhere. So I don't know what state you're in. Keep mm -hmm. looking. They're out there. Oatmeal raisin cookie from Old Scout. I would not have oh, described no, it that uh -uh. way, but interesting. But maybe yours is different, right? Like, especially I if mean, it's a pick. No. So. I'm not having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> it just couldn't read or talk. Is that one better? She does. She's rebooting. Yeah, I'm rebooting. Um, yeah, that was... I, very, very faintly better. It's a little better, yeah. Not, not, a, not a big difference in them. And the thing about the funkiness on them is, the more I drink, the less I pick that up. So if like it uh, was, if I were two or three heavy pours in, that's probably what why I've liked that one so much. Is you have it at the end of the night, the funkiness is just not there as much for me. Dang, drinks with the four ninety nine super chat recommendations for bourbon that compare to Eagle Rare flavors. There, unfortunately, is not a lot. Um, most of the things they're going to compare to Eagle Rare are probably going to be other Buffalo Trace products, unfortunately, which can be as equally difficult to get. Uh, chat, let me know. There was something we tried the other day. We're like, this has some Eagle Rare about it. That was one of the. It, was it the thirteenth colonies pick? Where we were like, this has a little, some, I think it was J-Rock says like, this has a little Eagle Rare flavor to it. Yeah, um, I think it was one of the yeah. 13, I don't know if that's the bottle we picked though, that had a little of that. Because like I get sweet fruit, floral, a little bit of like a sour grape note on an Eagle Rare. Um, and I just don't think there's anything else out there, especially not in that price range similar to that. Um, yeah, some states have no Knob Creek 12, I understand. It is popular. Okay. Uh, drive over to Georgia. I, I bet you they're going to have it over there. Benchmark. Well, benchmark. And the benchmark stuff is um, Buffalo Trace. That's probably going to be your best bet. The benchmark, not eight, but benchmark top floor, those kinds of things, probably going to be the closest you can get from Buffalo Trace as long as they distribute to your state. And they're like 20, 25 bucks. So got a 13th Colonies blind test and swore it was Eagle Rare. There you go, ah. Cameron says. Uh, road trip to Utah, don't don't waste your time. Hey. What? We can't say that because we were literally only there for a play. I'm just, I'm just saying. The, it I, was you, didn't even go, you didn't go in. I'm talking about the bourbon hunting, baby. That's oh. like, what are you, like Utah's great. Utah was nice. Bourbon, not so, I'm assuming uh, you're asking for suggestions on bourbon. Um, I don't know, maybe, yeah. Yeah. Obviously. Um, so it, that like go into the stores. They do a drop. They just put it on the shelf. You got to get lucky. Other than that, the selection's pretty bad. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, Utah's wonderful. Like you can't like everything's great. Try to try to make it to the Grand Tetons. Like if you can get up a little north of there. Um, what is the most underrated whiskey or bourbon? Mm. The problem is, is nothing really underrated these days. If it's good, oh, people I know are hyping what? on it. I would probably still say the Ben Holiday right now. I still yeah. don't think people are aware of how oh, good that is. That okay. The soft red wheat 
is like, that's that's a Weller level bottle. Okay, well, I, I'm just going to say that I have been to several picks so far with you, and Ben Holiday is the only one I have been to that I liked every single one of them. There was not a bad one. Like, all the samples they gave us, I liked every single one of them. They are some really good bourbon, and I don't know if they're underrated or not, but if they are, they shouldn't be. <laughs> Because it was delicious. Steve, when are you going to find a stack junior, man? You just got to keep hammering it. And you need to look down here at Aaron's comment. Everyone needs a friend that owns a liquor store. That's pretty much how you get them. <laughs> uh, yeah, Utah's not great. Utah and um, Idaho, not great for bourbon hunting, mm. for sure. All right, so we're I'm three for three right now in the order of deliciousness. Yes. All right, so let's go for... Go for four for four. four for four. This is still Austin. I'm part of that one. The non cash drink. We had the cash strength. Okay. I'm pretty sure you've tried it. Pretty sure you liked it. Okay. We've got a barrel pick coming up with them that has got it got it was supposed to be in September. We have postponed it to November. Um, because scheduling conflicts. Okay. So we are going to do a barrel pick so it'll roll out to y'all probably early next year sometime. Um, but it will be the cash strength, almost guaranteed. Like that's what that's what the mob demands. That is what I prefer. We, you are the proof queen. We don't want to give you this. What is this? Ninety proof slop right here. <laughs> it smells really good. Though. It's, it's like a ninety four proof. I don't know. It's very blurry. Ninety four proof. I can't see. I need glasses. I know. I know. I know. Ah, old Forster single barrel. The barrel proofs. Those can be really, really good. Ooh. Smells really good. Wisconsin with bourbon and whiskey hunting. I, I was in Wisconsin doing some bourbon hunting, like South we Wisconsin, were in Madison. Madison, Wisconsin. Madison. Wisconsin. Um, I did, but that video is probably one of the next bourbon hunts to come out. I've got Michigan, then that one, uh, I think. And so we bought some bottles. I can't remember what I bought though. <laughs> uh, I do think I, I got a. I don't think I bought a ton there. I did get a Buffalo Trace store pick. Uh, and ran into a couple of bottles that were, you know, decent, but I didn't have room. Uh, I just, we went right through Montana. I did not do any bourbon hunting in Montana. God, that, that smells delicious. Good. God, that smells like head and shoulders above the rest of these. Okay, now, that one's good. Oh, okay. JL with the super chat. Finally got the Penelope bourbon at my local store. Could you rate which to try first? So the Penelope stuff, I'm not big on finishes, and Penelope is known for finishes. And so I'm probably not the best person to, to advise you on that. Um, the Architects French Oak Stave, I've only ever had two bottles of whiskey in my entire life that were French Oak Stave finished that I liked, that I'm like, this is really good. Um, and one of those is Charter Oak from Buffalo Trace, which is an unobtainium bottle that I've never owned. The second one is actually something I probably can't talk no. about. I can't talk about it. Something, <laughs> something that a distillery is going to be releasing at some point in the future, and I cannot talk about it, and it is, it's, it's going to be a small distillery, and that, that is one of the best, if not the best, French oak finished whiskeys I've ever had. Um, and so that, you know, outside of that, their cash strength, the Penelope cash strength stuff, some of the best MGP I've had. So just start there and work your way out and find finishes that you like. They do a great job with all their finishes. So you're going to like it if you like finished whiskey. Um, I did get a Stag Junior in South Dakota. Got, a, got that for sure. Bought a few other bottles. Bought a ton of this Goose Island um, bourbon barrel aged stouts and, and different, well, actually a bunch of different ones that I'd never seen from Goose Island. Um, don't let the age, oh yeah, so this is not a very old whiskey, but it's been in Austin, Texas, and so. It just smells like caramel. That is just, yeah, it is just caramel and cherry. Oh. Like, honestly, if you just handed that to me, I would have said that's a Buffalo Trace. I would have said that is a Buffalo Trace bottle, because it has those kind of floral, fruity notes yes. to it. On the palate, not so much. Like, it delivers them. They're not as refined and crisp as they would be on a Buffalo Trace product. Um, you get a little more kind of oaky undertones, but it's like nice and subtle and balanced. That is a really, I don't like a ton of bottles at 94 proof, Yeah. but where would you rank that one? Oh, what's four? Four is, I like that bottle enough to try to always have one on the bar. Come on. 
come back to me. Come back to you when? Mm -hmm. What are we, <laughs> tomorrow? You want, me to, tomorrow. you want to just continue this? Oh, it was a fun live stream. We'll check back with y'all tomorrow. Um, I don't know. Um, I like it. Okay. But I'm not sure I need one on the bar all the time. Name one you need on the bar all the time. What would you? What bottle do we have right now that you would give a four to? Um, a four. Yep. Like I'm just trying to get your your opinion of where four is. Because it goes from like four to five real quick. Yeah, I know. That's hard. Um. Because if I'm saying that old scout is a three seven five, that's still Austin's a four. You want it here all the time. Well, I mean, I would just when that bottle's finished, I'd probably just grab another one. Maybe. Like I don't need a hundred of them. I okay. don't need backups right. of it. But like when that one's done, so maybe a like I'm trying to. We're still working on this scoring thing. Okay, y'all give me a little <laughs> bit of a break. I'm still trying to figure it out. But I, it seems to work. But like, what is a four? So is a four. Yeah, I'd say a four is I'd want to have it on the bar all the time. Yeah, because like so you're you're not gonna a Coy Hills a five. Like all right. those are just like I want I want as many of those as I can yeah, get, get them right? All. Um so what is the So I, I would want. say this is a three seven five for okay. me. I I will agree with that. Although it's better than this one, so I gave this a three seven five. So I gotta give it a little more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it a four. <laughs> call it a four. MGP Four. doesn't really have an MGP brand. It's mostly done as finishes and secondary market. I mean, the, the Remus stuff, like MGP has some brands out there on the market. Um, and I hear some of the Remus picks have been getting really good. Like, I think they're putting their good juice in their brands right now. So, uh, you're right in that, though, that, like, a lot of people buy it and do finish stuff with it to stand out because everybody's got MGP juice. And honestly, most, like, you can't be king of MGP because there's so many folks like Penelope that are getting MGP, they're getting so much of it. So if you're going to be really good and you're going to use MGP, you're going to be really different. You better be doing something interesting in the finishing or the aging of it for sure. Still Austin Red Corn? I'll have to check that out. Um, Penelope's always MGP, Nate. I mean, MGP bought them, but they've always been selling MGP whiskey. Mm. The police really dislikes MGP. Interesting. Um, and, you know, there's several different mash bills, so make sure you try them all. What is it? <laughs> I didn't realize it was somebody's name. You just thought I, just, I, thought you thought you I was just saying, in general, in really general, don't like MGP. the Popos, <laughs> Smokey the Bears, not really in the like MGP. <laughs> uh, oh, have mercy, Jill. I'm I'm You're like, still recovering from your stroke, aren't you? Yeah, I've been cleaning all day. I've not sat down. All right, this I'm tired, is, people. I'm tired. Here's the problem. And my phone broke. I am four for four, but I took a little bit of a chance with this next one. I thought it was the best bottle, but I underestimated that still Austin not being cash strength. Mm. So I might have I might have messed up here. I might have these two out of order. The next two? Well, the next one. We've only oh, got, one got one more, more. from this oh, okay. from this heist. We have Uno Mas, <laughs> and this is. What's that tall bottle sitting over there? Oh, that's the that's, oh, that's the, the other, other old, old scout. scout. Okay. This is Prideful Goat Six Year, unfiltered, cask strength. Cask. Now this is I'm pretty sure this is MGP as well. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if it says. Yeah, distilled in Indiana, so could not be like just because it says that it could be Starlight or something like that, but I doubt it. It's probably almost guaranteed MGP, but. This is six years old, and it's cast strength. So I assumed mm. it would be on up there. Is an old elk cigar blended? Yes, it is blended from several different finishes. Uh, no, this is this is prideful goat straight bourbon whiskey. So it's just a green label. It is not a rye. So maybe that's a branding problem for them with it being green. Maybe maybe folks don't buy it because they think it's a rye. I would but it is not. It this is a this is a. This is a straight bourbon whiskey. I'm not getting a whole lot on the nose of it. Uh-oh. Oh, that's pretty solid, though. It's tough, though, because that still Austin is so good. 
Big Hoss with the Super Chat. Cheers from Hoss, Lexington, Kentucky. I can't even say it. Lexington, <laughs> Kentucky. I was trying to move too fast. I uh, saw a bunch of prideful goat near Alpharetta, but passed on it. I like this bottle. I think this is a good bottle. I don't know if it's better than that Still Austin, though. Um, but I think it's better than the other ones we've done. They got their label backwards. You don't like it? I do like it. Okay. Um, but I would almost say that that does have a little bit of rye. It could be a high rye bourbon, yeah, right? It, like it, you it, can have rye in the bourbon, but it is not a rye. So this may be like a, a high, high rye. rye. Could be. Yeah, 20-something percent rye, I think it says there. Okay. Um, let me see. It's I like this. I would say this is better than still Austin. 75% corn, 21% rye, 4% malted barley. So this is a high rye bourbon. Jeffrey with the Tree Fitty Super Chat. Appreciate it there, Jeffrey. Thanks for the support. JL with the 499. I was going to start a bourbon company, but I heard it's a, it's a whiskey business. <laughs> good night, <laughs> folks. Thank you, JL. <laughs> that one's good. Uh, yeah, I've got the Blanton's Red Takara behind me there. We tried it on a stream a couple of weeks ago. We're actually, I'm trying to, I need to find a green label. I got to get a green label Blanton's. We're going to do a video for all of the regular, regularly released Blanton's. We're going to blind them and rank them. Maybe tier list them. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. But we're going to try them all and, and see what we get on. So we've got the black Takara Black, the red Blanton's, Blanton's Gold straight from the barrel. I just need the green. Uh, Josh, I like Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel. It's probably one of my more favorite Elijah Craig products. This is actually MGP's lower rye mash, Billy says. So really? MGP likes some rye. That's from the Bourbon Real Talk channel. Yeah, so the Bourbon Real Talk guys, um, I, I knew this was some sort of influencer content creator. I, I didn't know other than that, like who it actually was. Um, I don't really know those guys, but this is a good bottle of whiskey. So MGP's high rye bourbon is 36%. Mm. Buffalo, New York this fall. Wings on me and my family's place. Duff's Wings. Fall in Buffalo would be fun. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to make it this year just because um, I barely slept in my bed and it doesn't look like I'm going to. Like, I, like we will not be live next Monday because I'm going to be in Canada. Hey. 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 Yeah, hoser. Ah. <laughs> uh. Bradford, these live streams have F. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Thank, I, I, I'm going to take it as a compliment. I don't know. It could be the grade. He gave us the grade of F. But Grown so fast. <laughs> 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 there were just 20 people, and now there's 811 concurrent. 200, only 266 likes, though. That's a shame. Jonathan had a JD single store pick. Lasted about four hours between dad and law. Hey, those are good stuff, especially if it was a barrel Proof. That was that was good stuff. How about Canada? <laughs> they do have F. I feel that. I get you. I'm down. I, like I, teach us all. Um, so you think I got this right? In my guessing, you think I was? Did you give this one a grade? Oh yeah, I would have that one on the bar. That was a four. That's I just to keep four. keep a bottle yeah. of that. That's. I mean, I'm not in love with it. But yeah, it's not one it, that I'm just like, every time I come down, I'm going to have a pour of, but that's a yeah. really good bottle of MGP. Yeah. For sure. Like it. Like yep. it a lot. Awesome. Definitely have F. Great A, though. Okay. Ah, oh, see the under 30 vids? Yeah. Canada on Labor Day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be Labor Day. Eh. Uh, we just, it's a work thing. It's not a, it's not a bourbon thing. We got to, I got to be up there on Tuesday, so I have to fly out Monday. Be there Tuesday, fly back Wednesday. I, I'm hoping to do some bourbon hunting. I doubt I have time. That's how, like I fly in late Monday. I fly out super early uh, on Wednesday, and then I'm just there doing work stuff on Tuesday. So not even sure I'll be able to hunt. I know, probably not great pickings, but I still would like the experience. <laughs> mean Green, just found your channel Friday night and have been watched all weekend. What? It's pretty cool to catch live on Mean Green. Welcome. Thank you. I appreciate the support. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Uh, Jill? Nate doesn't watch Thomas. our live streams. Is Nate here? Uncle Nate, Nate, are you here? Yeah, he doesn't watch our live streams, Jill. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't, Jill. I found out today that he does not watch our live streams. He jumps in, he, he hops in the chat, and then he leaves. <laughs> because today he tagged me in a picture of the um, Ego Sipping Cream from Sugarland 
distilling, mm -hmm. and and did not realize we had a bottle. And we, I'm pretty sure we tried it last Monday. Mm, so Nate yes, doesn't even did. know. Nate yes. doesn't even know. Jason with a two dollar super chat. What's a good price for a Weller Antique 107? For me, it's a hundred bucks. That's what I buy it at. If I see it at a hundred or less, I'll take it. If not, I'll usually just let her go. Um. Green Label Blanton's on John Wick 4. I haven't seen John Wick 4 yet. I'll have to check that out. Check that out. Um, how was that LA one? No, no bueno. Don't. Yes. This, this is the only no on the bar right now. These are, these are in, in order. These, I like literally we tried these in order. This is the only no. And then these get progressively better as we go. Uh, Ernesto, uh, should I get an Antique 107 for $160? Live Eagle Love Eagle Rare and Buffalo Trail. Not at $160, man. That is way too pricey for it. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you just, it's your money. If you just never had it, like, I'm not going to judge you. I just wouldn't pay that for it. Ah, JW Outlaw. Best smoke wagon product. Uncut the, I don't think I've had the younger. I do like the un, uncut, unfiltered. It's going to be the best one for me that I've had, though. Just haven't had the younger. Bobby G with the $10 super check. Coming to AU for the game this oh, weekend. Going to drive over to Columbus for some bourbon evil. hunting. Uh, so if you're going to go to Columbus, there's a lot of places. The places I typically go, Frisky Whiskey um, uh, up the interstate is decent. I haven't found a lot there lately, but I used to. Uh, Maple Party Shop has a huge selection. Definitely go there. The Bottle Shop in Columbus, um, they're normally going to have their like allocated stuff in the back, but um, you know they have a huge selection of stuff that's kind of hard to find here in Alabama anyway. Uh, and then I usually swing by Mr. B's. Like I find a lot of like Eagle Rare and stuff like that just sitting on the shelf at Mr. B's. So those are the ones I typically go to. And I think there might be a couple of more that are not on my list, but definitely those. JL, early times, which cap to look for? The black plastic cap. It's, it's black plastic. It's got like blue shrink wrap over it. Um, the metal cap are the ones that are, they're fine. They're still good whiskey. If you've never had it, get the metal cap. It's just not as good as the black plastic caps that I have. We got a lot of super chat. You mind if I just blaze through them here? Go ahead. Cole with the five dollar super chat. Doing the Heaven Hill tour this weekend. Which oh. bottle would you get? Burnham Barrel Proof, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, or Larceny Barrel Proof? I'd take the Larceny. Mm. Yep, I'd take the Larceny out of those. Waylon, would you make a video with what you would pay for some allocated items? Love the channel. Just starting really building my That's selection. That's a good video idea. That's actually a really good That's video really idea, good Waylon. Video. I will relay that to the team. And we will prior, you know, we'll put it in the list of ideas that we're considering weekly. So, I uh, haven't had this year's Midwinter Night's Dram, but like all of them I have are about the same we level a lot of decent. Of that bottle. The Not all of some of them are just High West bottles that look the same, but the label. But labels. it says Midwinter's okay. well, Night. we have a lot of that Whatever bottle. on it, because when right. I was going through it for the party. Well, we've drank a bunch of them. Then. <laughs> Apparently, you have. Andrew with the dollar ninety nine super chat. Appreciate it. First super chat from Andrew. Thanks, man. Appreciate the support. Uh, America's Package Store was good. Maple Party Shop was one that surprised me. Like, it's a gas station. Dude, they have just tons of bourbon. I bought a lot of bottles out of that one last time I went. Nate showed up. Oh, look at here. <laughs> look at here. Now, now he, see, he wasn't Nate, watching. Don't, don't be. And somebody texted no, him. Y'all like, leave Uncle Nate alone. Nate's like, I've been here the whole time. I just, I was on mute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Any words on all metal Glen Cairn? A couple live streams. Uh, we're, we're checking. I, my supplier that does these doesn't have them. So um, I'm going to try to find a source for those and we'll see what we can get. All right. So I'm going to go grab. I'm going to go grab that, Gio. Keep them entertained. Keep them, Keep them entertained. entertained. All right. I don't know. Any chance of a head to head bourbon versus sipping rum? Hmm. Don't we have a rum that you have? Coming? Yes, we have. That's probably the next barrel that's, that's actually coming is our coming. Rolling it's Fork what, in Rum. Weller barrels or something? Well, here's the thing. Dance, so y'all can Jill. hear me, but Jill can't. That's what's funny about this. Is right now everybody can hear me, but you can't. So I'm talking to you. I can hear you. But yeah, the Rolling Fork Rum, Venezuelan <laughs> Rum, uh, finished in Weller caskets coming. So that's going to be it. That would actually be fun. Um, so this is Lego My Ego. Here, we gotta, we're going to give you all a close-up on the bottle here. Or the jar, I should it's say. It's a jar. Lego my ego right here. Zoom in for Nate. Just so you can see it there, Nate. All for you. Slide those over that way for me, please. Lego my ego. This is brunch in a jar. 
Appalachian Sippin' Cream. And it is, um, yeah. Oh, my arm hurts. It is, yeah. What is wrong with my freaking wrist? I don't know. My knee has been Ugh. messed up all day. I'm getting broken down, people. Every time I tried to walk down the stairs, I felt like my knee was going to, like, collapse. I went and threw this in the freezer before oh the gosh. stream just to thicken it up a little bit. Oh, definitely better than scotch. This is 100% better than scotch. I think this was one of the super chats last Ugh. week when I wasn't drinking anything that someone asked me to try. I was going to redo those tonight, but I broke my phone, and I took a picture of it on from my phone, and so now I don't know what they were. The best part of brunch. So I'm so, thinking one of them was this Eggo stuff. This smells like vanilla and syrup. Vanilla and syrup. Yes. Well, I like both of those things. And that's about what it tastes like, vanilla syrup. It's actually better than you would think it is. It is extremely sweet. You are, you are, yes. It smells really good. It has a little bit of like a bready aftertaste, like a pancake, which I don't love that as much as just the sweet kind of syrupy on the on the front. Um, it is not something you can have a lot of. No. Okay, it is not that for sure. I do get a little bit of fireball taste in that. Mischief hated the Clyde Mays funk. Now, you talking about the bourbon or the Alabama-style whiskey? Mix it with Fireball. Oh, Lord. Jameson, why, why are you in here giving of. good ideas? I both, we're going to try it. We're going to try it. We're going to try it with Old Fireball. Old Forster 1920 was one Jill was going to try. Is that Oh, one? yes. Okay. It's, uh, it's over there. Um, oh, I see it. Well, I see the 117. Where'd it go? It's got to be behind that barrel strength, that blue label Old Forester right there. You see that one? Oh, huh? It's got to be behind that. No, that's not it. That's Where the heck did my old Forester 1920 go? Did we get it down and then it got moved somewhere? I don't know. There's King's Ranch. <sighs> there's... Lord. This, Who knows? This whole place is a disaster because if it got on the bar, then it's it got put back there. It's just a disaster, um, people. We don't huh. know where anything is. We're very uncoordinated here. At this, like <laughs> They were right there. We're not All the old Forster stuff was together too. But like, you probably it, it like, probably got set down here and then got thrown in the back. That's that's probably yeah, what happened. That's probably what happened. Lord, I'll see if I can find it when I'm back there getting the fireball. Keep them entertained, TJ. Fireball. <laughs> fireball. Oh. I'm looking for this. I'm I'm a little concerned now that my 1920 too gone. much sugar. It has yeah, yes. Yeah, there's a lot of sugar in there. It that. is too much. It is it is it is a dessert. Kyle, we definitely need somebody to do some organizing. We're neither one good at that. I, I was going to pay Amelia to do it, and she hasn't done it yet. You would think that one of us would be good at that, but absolutely neither one of us are good at organize, organization, organizing. As you can tell, none of us. Well, I don't see it back here, but this is a mess back Ooh. here. So um, I'm not a waffle fan, although I will say we have some pretty good waffles at the hotel. Oh, gosh. If Jill were organized, I'd be a billionaire by now. Yeah, if I was, but I'm not. Fireball! That's why you're not a billionaire. Dun, 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 dun. Nor a millionaire, nor a thousandaire. No, you're spending why I'm not a thousandaire. <laughs> My spending? Yeah. Mister? I don't think so. The Baker's 12 sounds pretty good. I'm not sure about the Maker's Cellar Age. That, I'd try oh, it. Oh, that actually smells better. You think it's improved? I'm looking for this 1920. I'm like I'm concerned about it. Woohoo! Gosh. Is it good? Did I put too much? Um, it is improved. It is improved. I will say that. Still couldn't drink a lot of it. A sip is good, and that's about it. <laughs> but I think it's improved. Definitely an improvement over. I was looking for the. But I don't see it out here. The 1920? Uh-huh. I'm just going to accuse somebody of stealing it until I find it. <laughs> like you always Somebody do. stole it. Somebody Everybody stole that bottle. Somebody it. Somebody stole it. I don't know who we had here, Jill, uh, but somebody stole that bottle. There's no way I would lose a bottle no of way. Old Forester 1920. And we really haven't cleaned up since the last stream. Hmm. So, like, I, I'm pretty sure somebody just stole it. Well, we I do have know. a couple of new bottles here that somebody gave us if you want to try them, though. I'd rather, well. 
These are the ones from, uh, they gave us at the barrel pick. Mm. You know, the read those, tell, yes. me, tell me what those are. All right, so this one is Carefree Straight Bourbon Whiskey from, it was aged two years, 117 proof, from Texas, I think. Manny says, how do we handle it all? You mean like how do we handle it to drink it or how do we just keep up with it? Because if you handle it to drink it, it's just practice. If you're talking about how we keep up with it, we obviously don't. <laughs> um, because we have just lost a bottle that I'm 100% oh, yeah. sure was sitting there a week ago. It was, but you know, we actually didn't even, we haven't touched the bar until today from yeah. last week. So. Is K. Luke worth a hundred dollar price tag? The K. Lukes I have are actually really good. A um, hundred is a lot of money for a bottle of whiskey, though. Yeah. But they are really good. Um, is the nineteen twenty behind my chair? I thought so too, maybe, but I don't see it. Like it, it, this would make sense. This is where it would have ended up. More son of a it was turned around backwards. <laughs> I it was there all the time. I told y'all somebody stole it. It was there all the time. This one is Black Mountain Distillery. Small batch whiskey. Small batch straight bourbon whiskey. Cave Creek, Arizona. Uh, yeah, whiskey. I've got a Whiskey Acres bottle right there. Extra smooth. Um, a little young, a little youthful, a little, a little grainy, but I still thought it was good. Hmm. I was hiding it. I just figured it ended up back there, but I didn't see it. It was turned backwards too. I actually with this perp with this teal, if you just want to be honest, when I saw it, like I literally looked at this bottle, I thought it was the black steel from Dr. Disrespect because mm. it has a teal um, label like that. So I looked at it, I thought it was the Dr. Disrespect whiskey. So why is it old Forster one? So they do they do different series based on like what their popular whiskeys were at a particular year. Mm. So like nineteen ten is a double oak, nineteen twenty is their high proof. Um, they've got a whole thing here explaining what it is. I just know it's good whiskey. I don't, I'm not, I'm not in for the novel. Um, I think I have a filibuster. I could be wrong. I don't, I, I don't remember it though. Um, uh, I did not see the Maker's that. Mark Cellar Age reviews. Are they good, Devin? Yes, I, 20, uh, Contra. I always chase the birthday bourbon, but it's hard to, hard to find it. That is, oh, I keep drinking it, but it's not getting better. I, I mean, it's better than the... The original. fireball was interesting. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. 1897 is good. Awesome. Filibuster's MGP. Why? Well, I mean, mean, it's not... Well, I mean, it is. It's... it's uh, No. It's the um, Lego My Ego Nog. Yeah. Uh, SLB gave a great review of the Cellar Age. Interesting. Okay, I'll have to check it out. Yeah, so if you haven't entered, the Old Forster Birthday Bourbon Sweet Steaks is out. It is open to, um, to you, for you to enter. I don't know how long it's going to be open, but go grab one if you get a chance. Uh, any upcoming trips to Vegas? I'll be there end of October for sure. Um, I don't know if I can do a meet and greet. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, but I'll be there for work for, for SEMA. Was looking for some JD Tennessee honey based on your recommendations. They were out, so I got a JB Vanilla instead. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's you went with the wrong way. You went the wrong way. And honestly, I prefer the American honey from Wild Turkey, but the, like the Jack Daniels is interesting. Poured in some Coke, pretty good. But the vanilla, now you messed up there, man. Messed up. Sorry about that. Could have told you, but we, we didn't talk. <laughs> Cellar Age is definitely on the hunt list. I'll have to grab one then if I see it. The Statesman is good, for sure. Uh, I have several Woodford Reserve Masters. Some of them I love. Some of them don't care about. Just depends on which one it is. Haven't had the Winter Jack. What do you think? That's delicious. Okay, give a review. What number we'd look at? One through four. 150 MSRP for Maker Cellar Aged. How old is it? Like I, I don't know anything about this whiskey. I've been living in a cave mm. for the last month. Honey whiskeys are best when you have a cold and when they're cold. That's that's for sure. Uh, at some point, we'll make it to New Orleans. I've had a few plans. I just haven't been able to follow through on them. 11 and 12 years aged in a cellar, I assume, right? <laughs> cold conditions. I assume that's the name. Um, it sounds interesting. I bet it would be really good. Hmm. 
-hmm. six years in the Rick house and then in the cellar. Okay, well, that was, that's interesting, not as interesting. Appreciate it, malicious tactics. I get honey no, on that one. one. You get honey? Yeah. Okay, all I can taste is eggnog right now. <laughs> ah, that's delicious. It is delicious. That is delicious. Can't rush perfection. I would definitely say... You would. You would definitely say that. You're right. Those are exactly the words. If you were going to say something, say. those would be the words you would say. 4.25. Okay. I, that is always on my bar. I don't have backups of it, but like realistically, you don't have backups of that anyway because it's always available. But that is a I always, ha like I, mm -hmm. as soon as the 1920 is done, we don't go through them a lot. That bottle's pretty old, but as soon as they are done, we get another one. For sure. Okay, <laughs> yeah, Eric. It, it happens sometimes. Grab me another, Glenn. Let's try this. Um, I, I, I am. Carefree bourbon. You can try it. I am. Yeah. 117 proof. I have tried. Age two years. So this, I don't know if they were carefree because they rushed it out after two years. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm not expecting a lot. But when folks give me stuff... You know, and, and usually when somebody gives me something, it's either because they really liked it or they hated it. So they either are like, this is good, I want to share it, or they're like, this is awful and I want to torture TJ. <laughs> and I don't know which one it is when it happens, but... Well, I also got an Arizona coffee mug out of that. So you I'm, did, I'm happy. you did. Thank you for my mug. So we're going to give this guy a try here. Two years now, it depends on where. This was the one from like Arizona or something, wasn't it? Yeah, no, yeah. Well, I know this one's from Arizona. This one is from Cave Creek, Arizona, Black Mountain Distillery. Oh, can you read that? Or do I need to take a picture and zoom in? It's Arizona. Okay. So Arizona two years, going to be different than Kentucky two years for sure. Yeah. Uh, the Baker's 12 would be good. Like, I love a Baker 7, so I would, I would really like to try 12. It's probably going to be a Booker's, but... I'd be older than Booker's, I guess. A little dusty, a little grainy, um, way too young, like just way too young. Not bad whiskey, just way too young. It's starting to develop some of those kind of Texas notes on it, though. Some of that, like, oh, that really kind of, Odd oak tanniny, leathery kind of weird bitterness, but they're not super pronounced. So, um, you know, might might produce some good stuff that's older, but it's almost guaranteed to come out in like a Garrison Brothers profile or something like that if it has more age to it. Almost guaranteed. Um. So I I'm gonna give that one a probably a. 1.5. Give me another one. Let's give it a okay. fresh, let's give it a, a, a fair trial a here. Fair. Yeah. Oh, what do I think about the Old Forster 1920? I really like that one. You gave I it a, would, that's the highest yeah, rate of the night. Yeah, that's the high, like 4.25. I would keep that on the bar. I'm letting it open up. I want to see if it changes. If it just sits here for Get a, a bottle bit. of cheap stuff, learn to turn. I got some honey on that one yeah. for some reason. Wild Turkey 101 is a good bottle. I don't know um, why. Steven, J.D. Sinatra is good stuff. But I definitely get it on the finish. Like Don says funny. Cave Creek, Arizona. Anything Michter's is great. I, for the most part, agree with that. I like Michter's a whole lot. I don't think I've ever had a bad Michter's product. 156. The problem with <laughs> Sinatra Select is good whiskey. Um, that is really good Jack Daniels whiskey. But it is not a $150 bottle. It is a really good $45 bottle. Um, it should be a little more expensive than Jack Daniels, but it shouldn't be like four or five times the price. Teeth opener. That's You got to do what you got to do, man. I suck at opening things. Sometimes you just got to <laughs> eat them, right? Okay. Um, still some youthfulness. Still some graininess. Um, it's got a little sweeter profile. It doesn't have 
It looks those, a little darker. Yeah, it doesn't have those bitter oak tannins. So I would say to me, this one is slightly better than that one. Um, so what did I give that one? 1.5. 1.5. Did I say 1.5? This one will be slightly better. Still not a 2, but this one is probably headed more in the right direction, and I think this one could could take a little more age. Uh, it's dark, but it's still just kind of youthful. So I'm going to give this one a 1.75 then. And for small distilleries, like it's hard for a small distillery to get a three. It just, it really is. Like you got to be something special. Dudley Meet and Greet Alabama may be a tasting event. So we were planning something um, and then work got in the way. And then we were planning it again in October. We had postponed it to October, but then there's like a whole song. The only weekend we could do it with football season here um, is a particular weekend. And there's like a songwriter festival in town. So nobody could get a hotel it would just be, and then all the downtown's taken over, so it would just be a nightmare. So we're going to, but it's just, it's probably going to be spring. Best Peerless. Um, I, I just like the normal Peerless bourbon. The double oaked is also really interesting if you like more oakiness. Um, those would be my favorites. We bought a bunch of finished Peerless. I don't even think we opened half those bottles we bought when we were there. No, and there was one that was really good. I can't remember what it was. It was good. I liked we it. We had just drank a lot. No. I liked that one. It was, um, was it their toast? I don't know. It was something. Okay. But it was good. I don't, I think we had, we bought it. Yeah, we bought we it. We didn't. So I, I am going to try the duty. I'm going to, that's what I'm, I'm most excited about on my trip to Canada. And I, I may, f I'm trying to film that, um, is the duty free shops. So. See, Kyle remembers everything. It was the rum finish. Yes, it was Kyle. Thank you, Kyle. Kyle? Thought we were friends, Kyle. <laughs> now we gotta break out the rum finish. We're not doing that. It no, was the rum finish. I'm good tonight, but like, it was good. Peerless is expensive though, oh, um, it? and it's kind of crazy because it's like I see Peerless all over the place. Like I'll see a bottle of Peerless at like sixty dollars next door. It's like one hundred fifty, and I'm like, why is there this wild variation to Peerless pricing? Tim Harden it with the ten dollar super chat. Appreciate it, Tim. Thanks for the support. First super chat from Tim. Um, I am going to Vancouver. Tim's the one that gave us these bottles and my mug. Ah, so yes, that's right. I knew it was Tim. I didn't know it was the same Tim. Um, so thank you so much. I appreciate these bottles. These are, I mean, these are solid small distilleries. I think are going to do some fun stuff. They still got a ways to go though. Peerless is rare in Missouri. Redwood Empire stuff's delicious. I like it. I like all the Redwood Empire that I have. Uh, wanting some Ben Holiday soft red wheat. <laughs> like this right here? Is that what you want? That's what you want. Ooh, but look what we got. Look what we got, Gio. Look what we got. I should not be breaking that stuff out. Look what we got, Gio. This I is have, a Rick House proof. I have a hard time saying no to Ben Holiday stuff. Let's move all of this stuff to the nether region. Oh, I region. saw it was a long, long time ago, and I forgot to mention or say benched. something about it. But someone asked if we're going to be at the Kentucky Bourbon Festival. Are we? Aren't we? Are we? Yes, we are. Well, I'm just, you can answer it. You don't. Oh, like... okay. Yes, we're going to be there, and Bruzel Will will be there also. Be a little family affair. Mm, I'm gonna be blazing through some Glen Cairns. Mom, I, Dad, and Son. Get, grab me another one. At the Bourbon Festival. Look at us. This uh, look. So we tried. We bought. We obviously bought a barrel. So they they let us try a lot of Rick House proof stuff for the barrel that we bought. Now, Ben Holiday uses a screw top, like only the finest whiskeys. Uh, but it is a really nice screw top, at least. So I'll give them credit for that. It's the way I my wrist like, is hurting okay. right now for some reason. I I'll would, take the screw top. I would like to see them change that. You don't like screw top? Mm -mm. It's a nice screw top, though. It is, but they're just too exceptional for that. They're cork worthy, is what they you're saying. You're very, very cork much worthy. Cork worthy, and I think <laughs> they need a cork in their bottle. Oh, RJ messed up. Saw a holiday soft red wheat and passed oh, on it. No. Oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> hey, it's cool. I've I've done the same thing in all my bourbon hunting videos. Somebody's like, hey, go back and get that bottle, and you find out and it's delicious. Alfie with the 999 super chat tips on being able to differentiate flavor notes for beginners. So, like some people are gonna pick up 800 notes. Realistically, I don't want to pick up 800 notes in a whiskey. Um, just what I would do is buy whiskey, go online and find somebody's review of it. 
uh, whether it be a video review or somebody that wrote a review, look at the tasting notes on the, um, the actual like manufacturer's website, and then just try the whiskey and start trying to see if you can pick those up. Cause it's lots of times it's easier when somebody says it, right? When they're like, oh, this tastes like graham crackers. You're like, oh my God, I, I, now I can taste that. So that, that's really it. Just drink way too much uh, in moderation, but I mean, just, you know, every once in a while, sit down, get a nice whiskey glass. Doesn't have to be a Glen Cairn, but it could be. Could be those Proof Queen Glen Cairns mm -hmm. that are now available at bruzel.com or any, any whiskey, proper whiskey glass. Um, and then uh, just read somebody else's tasting notes while you're trying it. What's your taste on, or what's your taste? What's your take on oh, Widow sure. Jane and at what cost? The Widow Jane stuff, the the ten year that I've had, the first bottle I ever bought, I really liked. Uh, they use a lot of George Dickel in the blend, and I, you know, you, most of y'all know that I'm not a huge fan of that mineral flavor. But a lot of the batches I've had do a really good job of blending that to where it's subtle. Uh, but it's just an expensive bottle of whiskey. Was it like a hundred plus dollars for the ten year? Um, nowadays, that's probably par for the course for a ten year old whiskey from a from a smaller brand. But I liked the 10, I liked the 13, but then most of their limited stuff is like 200, 250 bucks. And that, that's just, they're one of those first like smaller brands that I saw that were just like anything that was kind of limited from them was just through the roof. Hmm. Corey just won a Blanton's Gold in the state lottery. Nice. That's awesome. That is, oh God, that is delicious right there too. Congratulations to Corey and to my taste buds. Mm. One one more sip and then I'm done. One more, one more. Now this is a weeder and it's got a little of that weeded funkiness oh, to it. Goodness. So you gotta like that weeded funkiness. It's gonna hit the back of your throat a little weird. You know, okay. maybe give you the shivers a little bit if you're not into that weeded funk, but that that's a good bottle of whiskey. Hancock Review, what's the most you would pay? Okay, um, you want me to do it right now, Big Hoss? Is that what you want? You want, you want me to? We're gonna start doing reviews. I've been filming some reviews. I didn't like them, so I'm going back to refilm them for patrons. So most of our reviews, like straight whiskey reviews, are gonna so be good. for patrons. Hancock blows. Yeah, I, I didn't think it blow. I thought it was the bottle I had, which is empty now, but I've got another one that's not open. I could probably go open. That's so good. Um, I thought it was really good, but it's, yeah, this is good. But it's not like, it's not a $100 bottle. You know, it's a good 25 or $30 bottle. Is MSRP 69 on a Hancock? I don't know about that. <laughs> pay 63 for a Blanton's and not a dollar more? I, if you pay, I think they're more than 63 around here, even if you buy them at like at MSRP. Like Alabama just charges like 69 for them, I think. I could be wrong about that. 10 years about 80. The Widow Jane, I don't think I've seen the 10 year <sighs> at 80. I mean, I, I haven't looked in a while, but when I first started buying them, they weren't. At, at, 13 year for 115, that was a good bottle of whiskey. I, th I think it was, I'm pretty sure it was the 13 that I really liked. At, at 115, it's a good bottle of whiskey, but, it, and if it's 80 for the 10 year, that's fair. But I'm pretty sure I see them at 100, 120. Hancock is not selling for 99 at Total Wine. It makes sense, it's not worth that. Mm. Favorite wild turkey product. The Wild Turkey Masters Keep Bottle and Bond 17 year was absolutely fantastic. If you're talking about just regular release turkey stuff, rare breed. Um, I don't think we've done a, we've probably done a review or a blind of the benchmark here on the channel, on the live stream, but I don't think we've done like a video of it. Um, so, it, but it's on the list. It's on the list of topics for sure. Eagle Rare is $100 in New Jersey. I buy Eagle Rare at 50 bucks or under. Timmy with the $5 Super Chat. Rocktown is the best local whiskey my state has. Their bottle and bond and cash strength are great. Let me, I need to revisit the Rocktown I've got. Um, I bought one. I'm pretty sure it's a store pick. It was a little too oaky when I tried it. But I think maybe it's just an oaky pick. Like maybe, maybe, maybe it's good and I just got one that's just not, not perfect. Because I've heard a lot of really good things about Rocktown. So I probably need to... I need to revisit the one I got, and I need to revisit just in general, maybe buy a different bottle. Where's Rocktown at? Uh, that's uh, Arkansas. Arkansas. That is Arkansas. Arkansas. Ar keep them in there. Dance for them, Jill. Dance for them. I don't dance. I don't dance. Well, then sing. 
I don't sing either. <sighs> Jill, these people are here to be entertained, okay? Yes, I understand. Lord. But I don't do those things. And this and is I not just, a dancing and singing live stream. I so. just happened to see that today, so I knew exactly where it was. Hey, Tay Tay. Tay Tay. Tay Tay. <sighs> we do have more tickets for Tay Tay. Great. I'm excited about I it. I actually don't have a ticket for Tay Tay. It's just my daughters and my sister and my niece. I wish I had one, but I've given them to the children because I'm a good mama. Now you know you're like me. You just left behind. I know. I just get uh, left behind. My freaking wrist is, what's up? I don't know, but it's hurting. This is a single barrel cask strength rock town. Um, I don't know. That looks dark. If this is from a, no, not I'm not sure it's a store pick, but it is a single barrel. <laughs> it's always time for a dancing and singing last year. Uh, the 13th Colony experience was really fun. Um, we had a good time. We had a good time. They um, they let us try some things that they haven't released yet. We got a little taste of their double oat that's about to come out, the second release of that. Um, they we did, had some really great patrons that came along. We, we had some, some fun patrons that came along. They let us try a sweet potato whiskey, but then they wouldn't sell me the barrel. That was pretty good. I was like, I want the whole barrel of this sweet potato whiskey. This is fantastic. I just that was that would have been hilarious, and uh, I'm still disappointed that we didn't get the barrel of sweet potato whiskey. But we did get a barrel of their cash strength bourbon, and it's going to be fantastic. Kyle was the rock town like I yeah, and I think most of the rock town I've seen is is red. I don't know if they're single barrels or black or what, but. Carpal tunnel, it could, like, it just all of a sudden started hurting when I started opening that jar a second ago. Yeah, it's just got too much. Too That's much, just got a little too oh, much age on it. Oh, too much age? It's got a little bit of that kind of, it got a little too much heat. It's got a little bit of that, like, raisiny flavor you get when something's in a small barrel. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if they put it in a small barrel or if it just, the big barrel got a ton of heat. But other than that little bit of raisin, and if you like raisin flavor, this one's actually really good. Uh, most of them come with raisin and like bitter oak tannins. This doesn't have that. It is just kind of fruit forward with a little raisin flavor to it. Overall, decent, like decent, but I think I could probably have a normal rock town and it would be better. Matthew with the $5 Super Chat Watershed Distillery just released seven single barrel cash wow. barrel picks starting this week. Nice. Give them a try. Let me know what you think. Uh, did y'all do y'all have a 13th Colony Sour Mash? I did not. So I, the guy did tell us um, the 2021. So the Sour Mash has a year on it. And J-Rock, you confirm this if you would. Um, I, I can't buy the sweet potato barrel. I tried to buy the sweet potato barrel. They, wouldn't, they wouldn't sell it to us. But um, they were telling us the Sour Mash, the last year of the Sour Mash, I believe, is like a couple of years older than the other ones. Because, like, they couldn't put it out during... The, he, he was telling me the story. I'm, I'm going to butcher the story. But they couldn't put it out during the pandemic because they couldn't get the glass. They couldn't get bottles. So they had to sit on it, like, another year or two. And then they put the last of the Sour Mash out. And so I want to say, like, the 2021. If you find a Sour Mash the 2021, he said that is oh, just he head and shoulders better yeah. than any of the other Sour Mashes they ever put out. Yeah, What's up, Royce? Bakersfield in the house. Which four? I don't know if I have a favorite Four Roses recipe. I, I'll have to, I need to get them all and blind them. That's what I need to, because every one I have, I like. I haven't had any where I'm like, this is bad. But I haven't sat down and blinded them to say this is my favorite. So, is that the Blue Run necklace? <laughs> oh, no. This necklace is a butterfly for my granddaughter, Carter. What are your thoughts on the Old Forester Blue Label Single Barrel? That's the single barrel barrel strengths over there. Those are good whiskeys. I, I like them. I, I like everything Old Forester does. Yeah, they do have the butterfly yep. on theirs, don't they? Don't, don't get rid of that bottle. That's my bottle. The, all That's the bottles fun. go to you, Jill. I haven't got rid of any bottle ever. We still uh, own every bottle of every whiskey I've ever had. Unless no, you threw it away. Have thrown a unless away. you threw it away. They all go to you, and then you get to do it. On the way to third shift, machinist, man, go machine some stuff. Didn't you just celebrate an anniversary? Yes, 25 years. 25 years. years. Um, last week on the barrel pick, that was Tuesday. Yes, a wedded bliss. 
Oh, but apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just a way. Wait, she she said bliss with no confidence whatsoever, and kind of looked at me. Well, that was because it. last week you were like, "These have been the worst years ever." Well, I didn't say the worst years ever. I just yeah, said they were the worst years 18, of my life. I'm just saying. Everything was now perfect. My, my wrist is hurting. You know, like well, I just that when you get married fault. when you get married at 18. It's really hard for your, you know, all the responsibility to be better than just being a kid. Yeah. I so, guess so. Uh, you know, I'm just saying. I see your point. Yeah. JL with the 999 Super Chat. What is your take on all of these new iterations of Booker's? I've not found one that I like. Used to be my favorite, but I honestly I haven't been buying any of the recent ones. Um, I've I've went through a few of them like last year, year before, and I was like, this is good, but I don't like it as much as the ones I already have. So, um, you you may be right. It may just be getting worse and worse. Um, I, we haven't had a ton of blue run. We've had a couple and I like the blue runs I have. I need to go back and do more. They're just kind of pricey bottles every time I see them. Uh, fantasy football draft Sean's got going on. I, mm -hmm. I need to do some fantasy football stuff, but I don't have time. It takes, it takes an investment. Um, Frey Ranch Farm Street Uncut. Yes, Tom. What'd Tom say? Proof Queen is obviously a saint. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For being saint married proof queen. to you, the for proof saint is what it should be. Five years. What are you talking about? You'd be bored to death if it wasn't for me. Twenty-five years. Um, yeah. You just killed the mood, Jill. <laughs> what? Yeah. I just I agreed with the paint. Have an empty Blanton's bottle. What would be a good use for it? I've seen some people Ooh. cut them and make candles, but yeah. you got to have like a tile saw to be able to pull that off. And then I'm it's a little to dangerous depending on what you use. She uses flowers. them for vases. They're actually really cool for vases. You can make a lamp out of them. You I was gonna. We've got hanging lights you here. Make lights out of them. I was gonna yeah. use them and put lights in them, but we just. I was gonna do it with. I changed my mind and decided I was gonna old do it fits. with old fits decanter bottles. Yeah. But I don't think I'm gonna do that in here either. Oh, really? I may do them in there, but not in here. So I can have the old fits bottles. No, you cannot have the old <laughs> fits. Those are the only bottles I'm keeping. Need a Bruzel 20. The 25th yes. anniversary pick is the 13th Colonies. Is that what we're going to name it? We literally did it on our 25th anniversary, it, yeah. so it's got to be the 25th okay. anniversary pick. Gotcha. My Sour Mash bottle is 2021. There but you go. But you know what? When we go to the Kentucky Bourbon Festival, I want to go to Knob Creek and get us an anniversary bottle. One, okay, we can do a bottle. I was just say one right, does not no, just go yeah, to Knob no, no, Creek no, no. for like, a pick. No, I'm know? just saying. They, we just go walk up to the door. They, we're going to be like, hey, <laughs> hey, hey we're here for a barrel. We need a barrel <laughs> need right a barrel. now. No, I, they, you can go in and like get a little bottle and have a little label put on it, and I want it to be our anniversary. Bottle. That would be fun. That'll be fun. <laughs> if you're a trucker, they work good to pee in. Dude, just, okay. get a, just get a big gulp cup so you can just toss them, okay? okay. Uh, thoughts on Four Roses Single Barrel Select. Love it. Like that's a that's a fantastic bottle. Um, yeah, let me get a barrel. Like we just gonna be hey hey hey. Ooh, Knob hey. Creek has a smoked maple. Yeah, you don't want that. You don't, you don't don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. I love. Mm. I think I might. Uh, I think it's worth a try. We don't have it. Mm -hmm. No, I have not been fortunate enough to buy that to waste mm. the money on that thing. Um, who's well, tricking uh, you? Who is that? Who's tricking you? Who who said it? I need to find it now. Who said that? What do you I'm recommend for someone who likes Knob Creek smoked maple? Oh, okay. So if you um, like it. I don't know. I haven't tried that one, so I don't know. Huh. I've just heard really bad things Everybody's about it. Everybody's like, no. <laughs> uh, uh, Four Roses never wins in a blind, but what is it blinded against, right? Like, it's a good bottle of whiskey. It ain't got to be the best to be a good bottle of whiskey. And blinds are weird. So, like, what y'all don't realize with blinds, oftentimes, um, if, the more you blind, the more you tend to skew toward proof, right? So, proof will win out. Um, but also, like, just ranking a blind when you've had a bunch of whiskeys, the best one doesn't always come out on top. And you do the same blind with the same whiskeys tomorrow and get a different order. That's just the nature of blinds. So, um, it's like drinking syrup. So, yeah, just get some maple syrup. Pour a little, get you some Eggo, eggnog right <laughs> no, there. Some Eggo no, no, sipping no, no, cream no. right there. Maple syrup flavored. Oh, I like this one. Jonathan, thoughts on barrel bourbon. You well, like what? You like barrel bourbon? I like one in particular that I the also Muzzle think pick. is the underrated bottle. Yeah, but nobody can get that. That's unobtainium. So good. Uh, so when you talk about barrel, now I've had, I've had two. I have bought a third one. 
um, on one of the bourbon hunts, but I've not opened it yet because that video hasn't come out. But these orange label, let's get this, uh, let's get the zoom going here. If I, whoop, I don't know what's up, I, I lost the zoom. Yeah, zoom right there. These orange label barrel um, private releases, these are, every one of these I've had has been fantastic. Some of the stuff, best stuff barrels done right here. Like barrels really good at blending things. So, I, and I like their normal release stuff as well. Um, but these are usually really exceptional. We've got a total wine. The total wine one I found was out of this world. So I, I reached out to them to do something similar and we did something similar with this. Um, so I, this is my favorite thing from Barrel are these orange label private releases. James Ryan, I fly international for and work. Iron. Are there any bottles worth buying in the duty-free airport store? Um. I'm gonna fly international for the first time in a long time um, here next week. So what I'm looking for is like Wild Turkey has, what is it, like the 12-year father and son that you can only get duty-free. Um, there is a Wild Turkey rare breed, un, I think it's like non-chill filtered, that is only duty-free. You can oftentimes find Blanton's, but honestly, they're normally just like super marked up. Um, so those are the types. And the I think, um, was it Kyle was looking for the Jack Daniels Bonded? It's in a different, different bottle. It's like a one liter. So those are the three I'm looking for while I'm flying duty free, but we'll see. Yeah, that turkey 12 years good stuff. No, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna finish this one. You're not gonna finish it? Nah, not tonight. <laughs> yeah, their their normal batch stuff is really good. Their normal batch stuff is good. Don't get me wrong, their normal batch stuff is good. But these special these like private releases have been like just oh. It's like they blended them to my flavor profile. Where is my? You must have got it. What are you looking for? The Frey Ranch. It's back there. Don't, I ain't got it. don't you touch I it. I I'm gonna touch it all I want. Uh-uh. I'm gonna lick the bottle. Nope, that's mine. Not please. Don't leave it alone. There's another still off the back there. Yeah, it's cash string. Don't. I'm just touching it. You said I couldn't touch it. Look, I'm gonna lick the bottle. Oh my gosh, you so. I lick crazy. the bottle right there. That bottle has now been licked. Um, how much is the Rick House? I'm assuming you're talking about the, the Holiday Rick. I don't know. We got these at the distillery, um, so that? I'm not real sure what the I'm not sure what the price is on these. Some of my favorite MGP bourbons, like I said, the um, the Old Scout pick has been a really solid MGP. Um, I've got a Remus Repeal Four. That's probably tops of the MGP list for me. Um, that's that's probably the best one, Timmy. The Remus Repeal Four. I wish I had, I don't know where it's, it's back there somewhere, but I don't even know where it's at. Doc Swenson. I, you know, I haven't had a ton. I've got a Doc Swenson. I need to revisit it at some point. Uh, the Shanks is good stuff. Shanks and the Bombergs, both Michter's products. Good, good whiskey. Like I said, Royce, I'm not sure what the price of this bottle was. Um, these were, when we went to do our barrel picks, they just sent us a little goodie bag and these were in it. So I didn't, I didn't buy it. I don't know. The clout. I just traded clout for it. Well, it's really, really good. Oh, that's so good. Haven't had the High West Cash Strength. Haven't had it. Um, are Booker's and Knob Creek 12 similar? I would say no. Not the Booker's that I have and enjoy. Knob Creek 12 is a little, little different. Like I, they, I'm sure there's some. There are definitely some Jim Beam similarities to them, right? Um, but there's a, there's a good bit different flavor profile on the Booker's that I have had. Wasn't Bel the Belmead is was MGP. That's a good call there, Dragon. Good call. So the Belmead Reserve, 109 proof, also one of the better bottles of MGP back in the day. Which they're still out there, but they're not made anymore. Uh, Knob Creek 9, 12, 15, or 18. We need to do that. Mm, we do. We yeah. need to do that next. Well, we're not, not next streaming. Week. Not streaming next week. Um, the next stream we do that is not a um, stream after a bourbon hunt, we will do a, a blind of Knob Creek 9, 12, 15, and 18. Do we have them all those? I believe we do, yes. Let me verify. I'm going to verify. I think verify. they're all up here. But we have nine. Let's see. Let's look at all of our Knob Creek. So this is 9, 120 proof. What's it like? These are. This is 12. Need another bottle of 12. This is a 14-year-old store pick, I think. 
It's so dark. Look at it. I'm trying to look at the year. I think that's a 14-year-old store pick. Alabama ABC barrel. This is a nine, just like normal proof. This is the 15 right here. It's got some dust on it. And the 18. <laughs> There's a little dust on the bottle. 18 right there. So we got a... So yeah, we got them. Yeah. It, it, it's, that's a little high. I paid a lot for that Knob Creek 18. What's I, the difference in these two nines? Oh, one's 120, barrel. one's 120, one's 100 proof. Okay. And if I remember correctly, you liked the 100 proof better, but I, I could be wrong. Remember. Do you like any Red Butcher Corn Bourbon? Um, some, I'm trying to remember somebody, like I know John Emerald's got one they, they're working on. I like what I've had of there so far, but it's only six months old. It's not like, it's not, you know, ready for, for a bottle yet. Um, so I don't know any on the market that I've tried. I want to say dust. somebody let me try one at one of the distilleries and I liked it. <laughs> that is beyond dusty. <laughs> what is beyond dusty? Oh, the yeah. Bottles, well, this one is, I've really had dusty. this one. This one is from 2019. So I've had this bottle for like four years. Um, but yeah, this is a 14 year Knob Creek store pick. This is back when, like, you went and just got the store picks. You didn't buy Knob, Knob Creek 12 was impossible to get, but I could walk in for cheaper and just buy a freaking 14 year store pick. Has anyone tried lightly dipping fried thick cut bacon in bourbon? We've actually had a uh, bacon in bourbon at the Hound. We did, and I've done some like bourbon glaze and then yeah. glazed some bourbon and put in the in the in the oven and baked it. A little pepper, a little brown sugar, a little bourbon. Very good. Um, that was good stuff. Very, very good. I want to do more cooking and bourbon, like, you know, pairing it with food. Okay. That would be fun. Do it. Just do it. You don't need my permission. Just do it. Um, Gangle just turned 21 best starter bourbon. So there, I have a, not a cop out. I'm going to, I'm going to give you some suggestions, but before I do that, we have a video on the channel. It's a long form video, the best bourbons for beginners. I want you to go watch that because I'm going to go into a little more depth into, it's like top five. I go into eight. Um, and why I want you to try those. I can't even open things. Like, I cannot twist anything with this hand because it is just, like, excruciating. Man. Getting old. Um, so what I want you to do is I want you to try several different things, right? And try it with ice. Try it neat. Try um, But don't worry about anything expensive. Um, get an, an Evan Williams bottle uh -huh. and bond at, like, $17. Get a Knob Creek 101. Or not a Knob Creek. Um, I'm trying Knob Creek. Uh, Wild Turkey 101 at like $25, get the benchmark series, like top floor, uh, you know, small batch, those, you know, pick pick some of those up. And then, you know, we can work our way up in proof and, and complexity. So I want you to try a bunch of different stuff, then I want you to tell me what you like, and then we can go from there, right? Said, um, Albert says that Knob Creek smoke make, maple makes a great old fashioned. Now that I bet it would, makes sense. but I can also I... just make an old fashioned with maple syrup. Yeah, but why not try it with the Knob Creek? Okay, it would be worth it. I think if you if you see that bottle, I want to try it. We may not like it, but there's a ton of them we don't like, so it's okay. Okay. I will buy them. I'm pretty sure we were sitting in a liquor store once, and I was like, you want me to buy this? And you're like, nah. I don't think like that recently, happened. Like recently, I think that happened. Somebody was with me, and they're like, don't buy that. Jameson said that it sounds like a new channel for Jill, cooking with the proof queen. <laughs> Nobody uh, would watch. Nobody would watch that. I'm kidding. Somebody would watch. You just got to do it. Like you, It's a lot of work. A lot of work. Time for Jill in the shorts with the Knob Creek Maple Review. You going to do some shorts now, Jill? I don't know. What's a short? I mean, I know what a short is, but like, how do you I You just sit in here. You just, you just press the record button over there and you hand it to the editors. Mm. Um, today, I think I like the 12 better than those other two, but I, I th feel like my taste buds are kind of shutting down a little bit on me. Somebody asked what old Carters were up there. Uh, right now, I have 3-KY, and then I have 1-New York slash New Jersey um, are, the, are the different batches. Both really good. Good night, Kyle. Take it easy, Kyle. It has been a good time. What time? We still got like half an hour. Uh, hit the like button for me if you would. At the end of this, if you're a patron or a supporter, 
if you're in the Discord and you've got your patron linked or you hit somebody up to get um, supporter status in the Discord, we are going to, I'm going to jump into an audio chat where everybody can hang out and talk and ask questions um, right after this live stream. Angel to d said that sh they can send me a bottle and you can't complain. I, like, I'm not going to complain anyway. We will buy it. Like, I listen, it's not fun if I don't get to just, like, bitch about <laughs> it a little bit, you know? I get to, like, oh, God, we can't, we're not buying that crap. Then we buy it. Like, I do that about half the bottles I buy. So, it's fine. But, yeah, bet, no, you're right. Send her one. Oh, <laughs> uh, don't. Uh, I can't, I'm not going to buy it. What am I doing? I'm fussing about free whiskey is what I just did. I just talked them out of sending free know. whiskey, dear. What's wrong with me? I don't know. What is my problem? Lord, I just missed an opportunity. I've noticed this, this Knob Creek 12 is so old, it's a different bottle. It's the shorty bottle. Oh, it is a shorty bottle. Um, so how long have I had that freaking Knob Creek 12? I think I had Knob Creek 12 at uh, Or did I just Matt's buy an house. old bottle? I might have just bought an old bottle when I bought one, because this one's the old one. This one's from like 2019, so apparently they've changed the bottle shape they've up. They've made them taller. Yeah. Do I have a Rock Hill Farms? Yes. There's one on the bar right over there behind that Blanton straight from the barrel is a Rock Hill Farms. One of my favorite. Uh, Blueprint? I haven't tried Blueprint. Uh, thoughts on Fourgate? I have a Fourgate. You want to try a Fourgate? No, nope, not good. tonight. Jill's done with the drinking. So the Fourgate I have was good. It's like $200 is just a lot of freaking money. Um, so... If that's something to prove, yeah, this is the short guy, him and this 14-year-old. <laughs> They're cute. So, it, the, the, but the, the four-gate I bought was good. I liked it a lot. I just, like, $200 is just, for there one are bottle? so many good bottles at, like, $50, $60, $100, yeah. $200 for one bottle? Mm, yeah. Like, MSRP? I, that's the cheapest I'd seen it. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. I know, oh I know, goodness. I know. See, I, and I... I'd passed on it like 15 or 20 times before I finally bought it. I can't even complain about the ones I buy. Okay, Ryan. Yeah, I'll take one of those. A Martin's Ferry from Holiday. That was some oh, that that was that was good, good stuff. Drink. That was good stuff. <laughs> that was yes. so good. Yes, please send me that. The bartender, though. What a pain in the butt that she was. <laughs> she was mercy. sweet. <laughs> we, were, we were comparing old fashions with the bartender there, and I was, Jill said her old fashioned was better than mine. And I was like, what? And she's like, I, I mean, I was on your channel and I heard you were the worst bartender in the world. And I was like, <laughs> my own words used against me. Although I do love your old fashions. It's a good old fashioned. It's a very good Yeah, one. I don't, I make it, it's sloppy, it's messy, it's different every time because I don't measure real well, but it's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's the going rate on Master's Keep? I I don't know. Um, like, if you're talking about the previous releases, they're they're getting hard to come by. The latest one, I forget what it's called. What's the latest one that came out? Uh, Y'all remind me. I saw one in a store the other day. They wanted like three hundred and fifty dollars for it, and I'm like, eh, I'm not that guy. Not that <laughs> not guy. That guy. Not that guy. Not him. Uh, was at a bar this weekend, and they wanted hundred ten dollars for a pour of Willet Purple Top. Ooh. It better have been like 20 years old. And even then, that's too much because those are not wow. good. I had an 18-year voyage. Yeah, the Wild Turkey Master Key Voyage. I wanted it. I didn't want it for $350. What? For a pour? Uh, no, no. That's for a, that was for the uh, whole bottle uh, in a box. Okay. Um, it wasn't for a pour. But oh, it was at the one of the stores in Colorado. They mm. had it. Um, I have not tried the Nelson Brothers yet. Haven't done it. I'm still mad at them. I'm still mad. Me, I'm still I'm still upset. What happened with the Nelson Brothers? Well, they they they're just Bell Mead is gone. Oh. Okay. So they they released that instead. So they uh, didn't do anything. Like they just it's fine. I'm not really mad at them. I'm just a little sour about it. But it's cool. I didn't you know, like. I drank a whole bunch of that Bell Mead anyway. Anthony with the four ninety nine super chat. Love the videos through a party and got non bourbon drinkers hooked on Buffalo Trace. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's in short supply. That's the best. I mean, you get them hooked, and then you just take it away. And now you're the only source they have for it. So they got to come around every once in a while. They're going to be like, you got some of that Buffalo Trace? You know, they're going to be. And then you got them. You could ask for anything. Not worth over retail. I don't even know what retail is on it. I want to say that. So I walked into a store once, and uh, this was 
two or three years ago, whenever the 17 year bottle and bond came out from Wild Turkey, I walked into a local like gas station liquor store and they had four bottles of the 17 year bottle and bond, but it was like 150 bucks. And back then I was like, uh, 150 bucks for a bottle. I'm not, I'm not a $150 bottle of whiskey guy, but I, I went in there like two or three times. It was still sitting there. I wanted a nice bottle. I'm like, I'll take it. And it is freaking fantastic. My only regret is I didn't buy all four of them. I probably didn't have the money at the time, but I would have loved to have had it. Uh, Dragon says they said the bottle cost them 1300 what, what bottle are we talking about? Oh, the, the Willet Purple Top. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oof. Mm. Um, how old was it? How old was it, Dragon? Yeah, I know. I know. I know, Brandon. It was just MGP before they got their own stuff. And I'm sure their stuff is great. But I just, I just, Nelson Brothers is garbage. I say, as I say that. <laughs> like, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's not. Um, didn't like the Master's Keep Voyage. Well, there you go. 18 years. So the, the funny thing is, is the Willet Purple Top 18 year is the worst Willet Purple Top I've ever had. It was just too oaky. It was just it was just gone. Like I would prefer I prefer I think we've got like a seven and nine. I think we got six, seven, nine. And then we had had a couple I had a like four ten year olds when we went with Spillway. So I, I should be able to get a ten year old from Spillway when their pick comes in. Um, and I like and I tried a twelve. I think it was a twelve or a fourteen somebody had recently and I liked that one a lot. The eighteen just wasn't wasn't a fan. Uh, FAE 01, as far as like makers, um, well, that's the, the, the wood finishing series. Private selection year? I, I don't know. Noah's Mill. Noah's Mill. That's, um, well, I mean, that's made by Willet. Um, it's been a long time since I've had Noah's Mill. I remember it being all right, but not good enough for me to go buy another one. Um, so I, I like Willet. Willet has kind of this herbal tea note to me. That is okay, but I don't love it until it gets old. Mm. And then once it gets like eight years old, like once they put it in a purple top, you're like, oh my God, that's that's getting more interesting. Um, but when it's a little younger, like in Johnny Drum or something like that, it's like, it's pretty good, but it's a little, there's a little bit off-putting about it too. Um... If the question was what year FAE, yeah, 2021. Well, somebody was asking about limited or private selection, but that's not a private selection. Private selection is like their, their barrel picks and stuff. So I'm, I'm not sure about the question. Uh, the Will, Will It Four Year Rye almost made me fun. I like the Will It Four Year Rye. Mm -hmm. I don't love it, but I like it. Johnny Drum is good, Will It. Like I said, I, didn't, I liked Johnny Drum. Jill did not like the Johnny Drum. Um, but I liked it, but there's something about it, like that, that kind of Will It. Uh, herbal notes that I get it's like, eh, you know, I just don't love it as much in Johnny Drum as I do when it's eight, nine, ten years old. Which knob was the best? Mm. Oh, you tried them. I didn't try them. I rolled through most of them. Um, I didn't try all of them, but we're gonna do that on another yeah live stream. The the older ones are too oaky to me tonight, but that could just be my taste tonight. Normally, I like that fifteen a lot. Um, but that 14 year store picks the best one I've had so far. Of course, that's the one I can't replace, right? <laughs> Won't get another one. Will not. No, this one's like three or four years old. $49.99, $50 Whoa. super chat from Visitor. I appreciate the support. Thank you. Really enjoy your hunting videos. I like your interactions with the workers, owners, and give your opinions on pricing and different bottles you're looking for. Most people don't understand how much time, gas, effort, and luck they can go. I mean, if you want good bottles, you're going to invest. It's either going to be money, relationships, or time, or all, all of the above. But I appreciate it. And we're, we're trying to take those bourbon hunts up. I've got some ideas to make those even better for folks. But I agree. I think the conversations that I'm having in the stores are the most interesting. And I hate it. Sometimes you just, it's hard to get into a good conversation. And that makes the video not quite as interesting. But believe me, I try. And if you see a video yeah. and I don't try to get into a conversation, it's just because we cut it out because somebody's like, I don't want to talk. <laughs> and that happens. It, ha it Yes, yeah, sometimes they're like, I don't want you to record or I don't want to talk or, you know, they just heads down and you just I don't read their be body language, right? Yeah. yeah. We actually had that. Recently. It it happens. It happens. I so. don't want to be on video. Jonathan, will it purple nine year in Delaware is $800? That's a lot of money. Hey, grab that nine year right there. I think it's the front one. 
I think. It says, yeah, it says up there on that top label, it says the year. Ah, I've struck out so much for a year. I just went secondary. Nothing wrong. Like, I'm not hating at all. I mean, you spend your money how you want to buy what you want. This one is Guilty Pleasures, nine years old. Um, so will it purple tops, though, uh, no. are diff they're just different to me. They're different than most of the things that are out there. Like, will it has a very distinct flavor to it. And, and honestly, like the, um, the Frey Ranch, Frey Ranch has a very will it kind of herbal note to it to me. But my lord, is that interesting? Like, oh my God, is you got to try that? You got to just—it's just a little. It's just a no. Okay, good. I'm good. done for the night. That, but like, it's not worth eight hundred dollars to me. Like, I don't—I don't know. I just—I grew up poor. Eight hundred dollars, a lot of freaking money. Way too much money to Someone spend on a bottle. Someone just bought a motorcycle for eight hundred dollars. Exactly. Time. Exactly. A spend whole it on motorcycle. Eight, spend it on eight. Spend eight hundred dollars <laughs> on a motorcycle, and you enjoy it every single. This how cheap I am. Growing up, we would not play sports. If you have to pay every time you play, we're not doing it. I can buy a basketball and a goal. I'll play for three years with that thing until the basketball is completely worn out. I'm not going to play golf. Um, we're, we're not really playing tennis, although, you know, you can kind of play tennis. Mm -hmm. But, like, any of those sports, that you, like, I, I don't know. I'm just, I just value money a little more than that. So uh, I'm in a weird place now because we're buying so much for the channel with all the bourbon hunt to try to make it entertaining and to try new things. Because I, I want to just, I like finding little gems. I like finding like a Ben Holiday that nobody's talking about at that time. Like everybody's talking about it now. I'm not saying that's my my responsibility or my, um, what's the word? I'm, I'm not taking credit for everybody talking about Ben Holiday. I just think they started getting wider distribution and everybody found it right after yeah. I did. But it's... Um, because we just happened to be up in Missouri, we found, a, we found a bottle a little earlier. Uh, and there were some folks talking about Frey Ranch before us on TikTok. So I, but it, it's just like, I would, like, I love finding gems, but I have to buy a hundred bottles to find one of those. Um, so we're, you know, we're doing that. But honestly, if I were just sitting at home drinking, we would not have bottles of whiskey like this. Like, I just tell you, we would not. This no. one. <laughs> Um, and I think I paid $150 or $175 for one of those Willets. One of these I got from Spillway in Mississippi. Um, so they, they, that was part of the bottles they gave me. The other one, I think it was the Alabama ABC Lottery we got it or something. I think it was the Alabama it ABC was, Lottery. Yeah. Um, so it was, it, was, the, it was MSRP. It was the same time yeah. we got the uh, William Murray, right? Or was that the, no, uh, it was the it was a couple years year. after that. Okay. Yeah, so it, it, like I haven't paid eight hundred dollars for a bottle of of Willet Purple Top. Just just so you know, um, but I just I can't I can't bring myself to do that. I may be buying a bottle at that price range here pretty soon, but it's just for work to give away at, at SEMA. Um, the total wine nine year pick will be two hundred sixty nine, and and so like Willet wants you to mark them up. They want you to raise that price. They want them to be exclusive and rare and expensive. What year is um, This one is Guilty Pleasures. I want to say that's the one I got from Spillway from last year. So it's... I think. What year? La like 2022. 2022? I think so. Um, it doesn't say, I don't think. It might say on the label back here, but... Um, darn, will it? I know. Huh. I don't know anything about Virginia bourbons. I mean, other than the um, Bowman stuff, not it a ton. Matter. Not a ton. Let me fill me in on Virginia stuff. Uh, I know Knob Creek, is it worth $175? Probably not. Probably not. I'm going to have to blind them because I'm not sure it'll beat some of these lesser Knob Creeks. Right? Like 12 years is kind of the perfect age for a Kentucky bourbon. Like, that's the best year. After that, they get oakier, but they don't necessarily get better. So they might, like, they might have picked them from a different place in the Rick House, so the age doesn't show or something like that. But, like, I'll, I'll have to blind these to see, and that's going to come up. We've got six of them. We'll probably throw the store pick out um, and just blind, like, the regular release Knob Creek stuff. Australian, $650. Oof. I don't know what the conversion is there, but $650 just a lot of money. <laughs> 
Anything over 100 shouldn't be bought. There are exceptions, but yes, for the most part. I mean, if you're just trying to drink it, that's a lot of money. Yes, apparently I will be going for Maker Cellar Age. I don't know if I'll get one, but I will be going. Um, so we don't have a booth at SEMA. SEMA is an automotive conference. There's Apex, which is a um, like an industrial conference, like attached to SEMA. Like it's it's across the road in the Venetian Expo instead of like the main Expo Hall. We have a booth there, and then we have a partner that has a booth at SEMA. And so we'll be in their booth, and they'll be in our booth. So we'll kind of be in both places. So, yeah, we will be there working SEMA. So if you're going to be there, um, swing by. We'll find some time. Hit me up. It could be lasered on the lower part of the bottle. It, it might be, man. But I, I, I'm pretty sure this came from Spillway. I think the nine-year was from Spillway. And so I'm pretty sure... It's either Spillway or I got it from um, Pahrumpf, Nevada. It's one of those two for sure. You've gotten some really good stuff from Nevada. Yeah, so it, and that was when we got that same store pick. Um, so it, it was one of those two, and either way, it was last year. Either way. If you're paying over 40 for a bottle, you're a tool? Well, call me a tool there, shoddy Pippin. <laughs> I'm a tool. I am a garden utensil. I'm a. I, if I were a tool, what would I be? An adjustable wrench. It's versatile. Maybe, maybe, maybe one of those multi tools, like a Leatherman. If I were a tool, I'm a Leatherman because I do all sorts of crazy stuff. <laughs> Okie dokie. A hoe? Yeah. I mean, it's possible. It's possible. You know, people got to eat, man. Some people got a garden. Sometimes you don't have a tractor. You need to be able to hoe something up. <laughs> a rake. <laughs> <laughs> What's happened? I, I, I don't know. It's, it's what it's what are we talking him. about now? It's going down him. $418. I, I mean, that's a deal compared to what some folks are paying for that bottle. Mm. Still a lot of money for a bottle of whiskey. Swiss Army knife. There you go. Oh. Rare breed under forty dollars. Yeah, I, I don't think you can find it around here under forty. Fifty ish, fifty five maybe now. Um, snap on drug. How many samples before it's too many? There are none. As long as you can still talk coherently and stand up right. As long as you're not driving, many samples as you want. Um. And what do you qualify as a sample? Because I literally had a sip of all mine, and then I poured um. the rest of them. Into this glass. Oh, I'm not. So like I a, don't. I don't drink it all. That was with water. It looks like a beer. I thought. Like, I thought you had a beer. No. Um, how much pay for? I don't know how much the knob nine was, man. I'm sorry. Never saw rare breed less than fifty dollars. Yeah, I agree. I think. I think it's what it, it's like fifty to Ooh. sixty here. What is it? Brenda Song went to Perump Valley Winery. That sounds like nice. fun. We should do that. Uh, well, we okay. You going to see me with me? I don't know. Okay, because I'm probably Vegas I'm probably gonna stay a few extra days, go out to my buddy's house in Pahrumpf. John Price is going out to Pahrumpf to run the track. I can take a Corvette and I can race it for two days on the track in Pahrumpf for a thousand dollars. You don't think that sounds like a good time? Mm-mm. Okay. Well, I might have agreed to it. Well. I don't have a thousand dollars. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to have to back out. Mm. With Blacktop early time supply almost gone, any bottom shelf bottles you would like to pick up? I mean, the benchmark stuff is hitting really, really good right now. Um, that, that's the one. Like, that's probably like the premier bottom shelfer at the moment. Uh, do I have a favorite from A. Smith Bowman, the single barrel? It's probably the best I've had from them that I remember anyway. $2.99, buy or pass? Just, uh, that's pricey, man. That's, and they're they're just pricey. The problem is, is I like the bottle, but three hundred dollars is just a lot of money for a bottle of whiskey. Um, so if I had never had one, I would splurge for it probably at three. But like two two fifty um, is where I typically see them selling. Put Maggie on the track; they won't let me. <laughs> you ever come to Washington? Well, I'm I'm gonna be. I was hoping, like I got to fly to Canada Monday. I was hoping to be able to come down into Washington. Not gonna make it. But we we'll are trying to, to we are trying to bourbon hunt in all fifty states, and so we're at like twenty something states right now. So I don't know map. what it'll happen, but we will do it. We need like one of those maps that you like erase off the state once you've done whatever it is you want to like visit it or whatever. But for us, it could be bourbon hunting. We need a map where the states erase. Yeah, like you. you I mean, we just do a graphic for the like. We just oh, do a graphic. Or you could do a graphic. That's boring. 
Okay. What do you want? Where are you like doing that? Where are you gonna put it? Where are you gonna put this map? Right there. What if we just got like all the fridge magnets your grandparents used to have of the states they had been to, and they we just like every time we got a fridge magnet of yeah, the state. Yeah, but we didn't do that. We could go order them. I'm sure they on Amazon or something. Oh. oh. Yeah, but you didn't get them while you were there. Yeah, but who cares? Or we could. I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll do which this. state has? That's a great question. What? Which state has impressed you the most, most. with hunting? Um, so great question. Impress is an interesting way of putting it. Um, the the thing is, is I, I'll try to explain this, and I, I forgive me if this is um, repetitive for those who who have heard this before. But my expectations going into something um, have as much of an impact on my feelings leaving something as how good the thing actually was. Right. So if I if I'm expecting nothing from a movie and it's okay, I'm impressed. If I expect a lot from it and it's okay, that's a huge disappointment. So the state that I, I had much more fun in than I anticipated was Arkansas. Like that's the one, like just going in and the conversations and almost every store I went into was like a local owner operator just trying to make a living. Um, those were a lot more fun. There were no big chains or anything like that. It was just through the countryside, liquor store owners, that state was a lot of fun. Um, now there, and there've been some, like we had some great conversations. The South Dakota is gonna be interesting. We ran into somebody that works at the store that knows, that knew the channel. Like we, when we walked up to the store, dude was sitting outside smoking and he's like, Bruzel? And I was like, <laughs> yeah. He like startled me. I was like, yeah, man, we here. Let's do it. Um, Let's so hunt. that was fun. Spare change for the hunts, Tater with the $50 that super so chat. Awesome. Thanks for the support. Appreciate Thank that. Thank you so much. Um, so that, but that's all I'm looking for a good conversation. I do not, like, zero cares are given if I find a good bottle of whiskey. I want a good bottle. Like, it would help, but, like, I want really good conversations. I want to have a good time. I've got plenty of good whiskey. Um, so I, I hope to find, like, a little hidden gem of a bottle, but, like, I don't need to, I don't need to get something allocated. They don't need to roll out the pappies for me. You know, I mean, I'll be excited if they do, but realistically, what I want is just to run into some cool people and have cool conversations. Harry's in Cordell, Georgia. I'll have to check that out. Cordell. Woodenville store pick. Pretty good. Awesome. All right, where are we at? We are at 9.52. Again, after this live stream, I'm going to jump into Discord for supporters only into the voice chat. If you happen to have signed up for Discord or for Patron, um, you can link your Discord. You should be able to get into that. Um, we also have a lot of barrel picks rolling out. The uh, the rum, the rolling for, it's a six-year-old Venezuelan rum that has been finished in Weller barrels. Um, that is bottled and we are waiting for it to get to the retailer. Could be any day now. That could be available. I've never had it. Um, we've got the Crittenton's picks are bottled. Never had and, that. But they can't get to New York until the 1st of October. So early October, those will be rolling out. Um, the um, I want to say, like Ben Holiday's like, we can rush through. When do you want it? And I was like, just move forward as fast as you want to. <laughs> uh, 13th Colonies is like, we can bottle these in a week or so. When do you want them? I was like, just they may all hit it one time and I'm going to be broke, but like just get it ready whenever you can. Um, the um, short barrel picks, I think, are supposed to be bottled next week, I believe, if they go according to schedule. Now, it takes a little while to get to a retailer. Um, and then the Rolling Fork Rum is bottled, headed to the retailer now. We bought that the same time we bought the, um, the Starlight stuff. And so that's three more barrels that I'm assuming are pretty close to ready. So in other words, we got a we got like 15 barrels bought, and they are all coming over the next three plus months. Um, and so I, I'm pretty sure September sometime the <laughs> the um, Clyde Mays picks will be available. And so the next three months, it's just going to be barrel pick city. I'm sorry, but there's probably going to be three barrel picks a month for the next three months. That's my expect. I can't promise because I don't know. They just email me when they're ready. Um, and we can delay them a little bit, but it's probably going to be three a month for the next three months. And if you order them all, at some will go to one retailer, some will go to, a, like they'll go to separate retailers. We're trying to find one retailer to handle them all. 
but right now we had one in New York and some <laughs> folks couldn't get their barrels to New York, so we're trying a different retailer that's a little easier. So Ryan says it's gonna go broke with these barrel pits. I you know, I like I oh, I appreciate the support. <laughs> I hope you don't go broke, but um, we're gonna you're gonna see me streaming from a cardboard box if they don't sell. So that's all. Uh, good. Someone asked earlier, wouldn't have time to answer it, but like was talking to people at was that has that become easier since you've grown on YouTube? What do you mean? Like you go back down. Go, okay. Go back up to the question. It was like basically has talking to the people in the store. It was whiskey business. Were were conversations with folks more difficult before you grew so much on YouTube? I would say no. no. I, I, I'm a talker, been, dude. I, he's like, a talker. I, I just like I like people. I like talking to people. I'm pretty good at just getting conversations started. Um, so it, it hasn't got easier from that perspective. And honestly, if we're in the store, normally we're going to downplay how big the channel is. Uh, you'll hear me in the video. I'm like, we got a little YouTube channel. We do some little bur Like I've got a little bitty camera and we do a, we got a little bitty channel and we do some little bitty bourbon because we don't want to spook people. You don't want to freak them out, right? Um, so if they know, hey, that some of these bourbon hunt videos get 100, 150,000 views, they might be like, I don't want... Like, I don't want anything to do with this. Yeah. Um, so we, you know, we downplay the size. So that hasn't helped from like the bourbon hunting perspective. Now we do have stores reach out, want us to come do something. Uh, unfortunately, our schedule hasn't really worked to, to hook up with most of them. But um, we do have opportunities to do some really cool things that are, that we've had conversations around that maybe are in the works. I don't want to talk about them to jinx them because every time I talk about them, they don't happen. Um, so... Dragon, I hope so, man. We'll see, though. Like, I, I just, it could be just a bunch of them at one time, and it still just makes me nervous. Like, I, 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 I know we've got a great community here, and y'all are a ton of support, but it still makes me nervous because of the consequences of them not selling. <laughs> right? Yeah. Which means we won't be sitting here behind this bar. We will, this house will go up. <laughs> and like, if, if we sold, if we have 15 barrels and we sell three of them, we will be up for sale next week on the house, and we'll be moving. Can't find Weller anywhere in Vegas. It's, man, it's hard everywhere, honestly. Um, yeah, and it's fun, Albert, because it's, it's getting, we, we are starting to get recognized more and more in liquor stores when we're doing bourbon hunting videos. We do have quite a few folks, like, just come up and talk to us. It's like, hey, watch your videos. So, appreciate it, Paul. Thanks for hanging out. So, we got, like, three minutes here. Again, I'm going to be over on Discord for supporters only. Uh, if you join the patron, make sure, you know, like the patrons, you're going to have access. There is a free patron tier too. So there's no reason not to join. Um, and so if, you know, if like when we drop barrel picks, the barrel picks um, will go to the highest tier patron and work their way down. But join the free patron. We're dropping so many barrel picks here. You might actually get a chance at some of these if, if folks don't pick them up. So um, did you get a spot in the quarterly? Lock the I entered, thing. but I don't. I don't think I'll win. I don't think they they haven't picked yet. I'm not sure it's even closed yet. Uh, but no, I never win anything, man. Very rarely do I win anything. It happens occasionally, but it is very infrequent. Oh, uh, finally got a chance to try Weller Antique 107. Easily up there with Rebel 10 is my favorite weeder. Really? Like it's easily up there with Rebel 10. Easily up there with Rebel 10. <sighs> <laughs> I respect your opinion. Everybody has, and I strongly disagree. Difference. Like I like Rebel Ten. Don't give me Rebel Ten's good. Hey, Rebel Ten's good, but Rebel Ten is almost up there with Weller Antique One Hundred Seven to me. Like it's like Antique One Hundred Seven, and Rebel Ten's like it's like the the ugly cousin. Like not not bad looking. Like you'd hang out with her, but you're not like if the other cousin's available, you're not dating this one. You know, dating. Yeah, you get, the, you get the better looking cousin. You go oh, for that I one. I thought you meant like your cousin. <laughs> not my cousins. I'm not dating my... What? This is Alabama. I know we're from Alabama, Alabama babe, you know, but we don't date our cousins. Not our cousins. Their cousins. Mm -hmm. you, you know, it's friends. The ugly friend. How about... Is that better? Yeah, that's this better. This is the good looking friend. And this is, you know, this is like the, you know, if you had enough drinks, friend, she's, she's pretty good. Like, she's all right. I won the lottery 10 years ago. Did you? What lottery did I win ten years ago? I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't. I don't know if he'd been. Are you 25. hiding something from me? He'd been twenty-five years ago. 
Oh, well, no, that would I be. I don't know. Is it preferred to use right. patron? Patron is, yes. So patron takes the less percentage, right? Oh, so yeah, he said 25. He, he, yeah. Yeah. I won the lottery yeah, exactly. 25 years ago. Thank she, you. Yes, he's talking to you. No. He's talking to you. No, he's not. He's talking to you, he's Jill. Talking to you. But yeah, patron is the preferred place. You said you never win anything. It's just easier for us to manage. That's what you, you said. I didn't win. I worked my ass off for this. <laughs> you know, this was not like, this didn't just come easy. That's not true. Yeah. All right. So we are headed out. Uh, you going to join the chat or are you gone? Um, not She's sure. gone. Uh, she might join for a minute, so we will see y'all over on the chat if you make it. We will not be live next Monday. Um, I'm going to be in Canada, A, eh? and uh, then I should won't. be live the week after. They are working on the studio. This will be painted. Like, the next time y'all come, this won't be gray. This will be green be behind awesome. us. And then the, we're going to move into the new studio, but they got like a couple of weeks to finish that. And then I've got to get all the bottles set up and shelves and stuff. So it, yeah. it might be a few weeks or a month before we're moved into there. But once we move That'll into there, nice. we'll have more cameras. We'll have uh, all the bottles will be in there a little more organized. It'll be a much nicer setup uh, once we do that. So hopefully over the month of September, we're going to see those improvements. But I appreciate everybody hanging out. This was a fun time. Good stream. Good night, um, everybody. See y'all later.